Hey, we're here. Hi. Congratulations, everybody. You made it. Yay. <laughs> now, this is a different setup, so please let uh, let me know how this audio is. I think we should be good. We had to move stuff to make room for these ridiculously big boxes. I hope it fits. We've got one box here and then kind of in the back. <laughs> you, can, you can see we've got the big giant boat. Uh, Jerry, Dungeoneers Pack, welcome. Thank you for being here. Let us know how this audio sounds. This is a uh, shirt merch. When shirt merch now? Shirt merch now in yeah. the description for the video. There's a Streamlabs link. Uh, click that. You can order this. And we got hoodies and backpacks. They even do bikinis, but I didn't do that. Nope. All sorts of crazy stuff on there. Yeah. I have a racerback top that I look forward to wearing once I wash. Look how great your lipstick looks. I know, it's not even actually orange in real life. It's berry, but yeah. here we are. This is this is the webcam instead of the real camera because of the size to fit everything. So the color is not where we're normally at. My eyes are where they should be. <laughs> okay, so uh, today we are unboxing Reaper Bones Kickstarter, Reaper Bones 5, the Kickstarter. Uh, we just got this. Uh, it's been out for a little while, so if you've already seen it, thank you, really thank you for being here. Uh, if you don't know, there are a bunch of shipping delays and a lost container and all sorts of drama. But we are here now, so very excited to do that. So we've got a lot of things, but the whole Bones Kickstarter had millions of options. Uh, so we don't have all of them, but we've got quite a few. Enough. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to spill the beans. We've got $500 worth of minis. There it is. But the boat's a hundred dollars by itself. Sure. And I think that everyone needs a hundred dollar boat. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait till we put it together. Have <laughs> uh, All right. So uh, if you're just getting here, um, check us out on patreoncom slash minis if you want to support the channel. I'd really love to see you over on our Discord. Yeah. We can chit chat, hang out. Uh, normally, Friday nights is our Friday night paint night. Uh, where we just get on Discord and get on video and we just paint minis uh, or work on D&D planning. Or paint our nails. <laughs> or paint our nails. Or just hang out. Yeah, we just hang out. Uh, so please join us for Discord. We've got a link in the description for that. Of course, Instagram and Twitter, we're over there too. And brand new thing just launched this week, YouTube memberships. So uh, if you see on my thing, there should be a join button. Where is that? Next to the... Next to the... Next to the subscribe button, I think. Uh, click that if you click that join button, it won't just automatically join you. We can take a look. Uh, it's two ninety nine a month, and then you get this like cool badge next to your name. And the longer you're a member, the uh, the, the it'll change colors, uh, and you'll get uh, special access to the Discord. We've got an exclusive channel. We've got an exclusive role, uh, and you've got a solemn promise from me to do my absolute darndest to answer and reply to every single comment you leave as a YouTube member. So if you can only support us one place, Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but YouTube would be fantastic. So thank you, everybody. It's yeah. Jerry's comes tomorrow. Congra congrats. Yeah, congrats. So mine shipped yesterday. Or no, it shipped two days ago. I don't know. Well, it got here yesterday, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, sh it shipped two days ago, got here yesterday. Because we are not far <laughs> from Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> we are very close. Okay, so let's see. So we're gonna start, we're gonna save the ship for last. Are my sound levels good? I'm just nervous. If I'm playing music, we've never played music before. I hope it sounds good. Let me, let me know, please, please. Um, so we're gonna start with this, the box of everything, and then we'll go to, the, we'll do the, uh, the ship at the end. Kind of a big special prize. I'm looking forward to it. I have no idea what's in these boxes. I don't look at minis the way that Eric does. They just show up at our door and then I unbox them on YouTube and we see what happens. So I look forward to learning a little bit more about what's in here and what I like and what I hate. <laughs> yeah. If they're worm like like things, I hate them. <laughs> worm like things? Well, like that awful thing with the teeth oh, that won your mini of the month contest. The Gorma. Gorma. Beautifully painted. So Excellent paint job. Ugly. Hate it. <laughs> yes, that's another cool thing for being Fry Minis Patreon, Patre Patreon patron, uh, is we do a cool contest where you can paint and you might get a prize. You might. Uh, okay, so just to let everybody know, the sets that we have here, we have the Bones 5 Core Set, Elemental Scions, Bones 5 Learn to Paint Kit. I got that because it's a good selection of paints and minis. Oh. 
Uh, and I haven't painted in a little while, so <laughs> I might need it. Fan favorites, which is usually my favorite. I, I'm very excited for the fan favorites. It's a great selection. Dragon folk, dragon folk are what caught me up and, and got me delayed, but they're dragon people, dragonborn. But who's worth it? <laughs> yeah. Dungeon dwellers, so these are heroes usually. Kalanzar the Wicked, a giant scary dragon, very tall. Troll bridge encounter, it's an actual, it's a full bridge. Very excited to see that. Pirate ship and Brinewind extras. Those are like um, parts for like a dock or harbor. Oh. Just to go with the boat. I figured it was appropriate. Uh, we've got, thank you for sounding off that the sound is good. Audio thank you, is clear. Thank you. Appreciate it. Always nervous. I've launched more than one where my mic wasn't on, so. Whoops. Yeah, <laughs> mic's in a different spot, and I actually rerouted everything through my Go XLR. So <laughs> it so was, there were a lot of risks. And, uh, it was a couple hours ago, so I was real nervous. But here we, here <laughs> we are. You. We survived. All right. Okay, so let's switch, let's switch to this top down. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Wow. We got us up there. The chat. Tim Fry. What's up, Dad? <gasps> Hi. Does Hi, it, Tim. The chat refreshes when I uh, switch scenes. That's interesting. Now we know. Now we know. Uh, okay, so we're going to open this, and I'm going to do my best to not show any uh, receipts with our address on it. So everybody cross your fingers. Be cool. Would you like to do this? No. My methodology for opening boxes is just ripping everything to shreds, not limited to the box. It could also be my hands. Um, I haven't like torn, like popped a seam in my shirt or anything while I'm tearing boxes open, but I'm a firm believer that tools are for fancy people <laughs> and I don't do that, but I don't open boxes on YouTube ever. So it's different. That's true. All right, all right, let's see. Let's see, looking for receipt. Oh, I found it, I think. Let's get that out of here. Oh. <laughs> Swag. No. Oh, yeah. All right. So first we have a uh, Reaper Mega Bundle. So this is for Reaper Con. The Mega Bundle, that's all the minis. That's all these, all the different sets. You know, we already ordered this. <laughs> uh, and the uh, new thing with this is that these are going to ship before Reaper Con. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you don't have to lug them around. Yeah. Although I will say Reaper does a, like if you buy these at ReaperCon mm -hmm. traditionally, uh, they actually have a system where they can mail it to your house. Oh, I, we've never had to do that. But yeah. For people who fly in, that's gotta be great. Yeah, we've got a big Bones USA magazine catalog, how to paint minis, color lines, a little step by step, and just a bunch of paints. And brushes. Cool. Helpful info. Jerry says nice monitor. Oh, thanks, Jerry. It's curved. You can see a little bit of Streamlabs. It's enormous. And <laughs> his video games sometimes stretch out onto it. Sometimes they don't. Okay, looks like we don't have a receipt in which is great. Uh, okay, so we've got come to ReaperCon. We'll do... Uh, and they've got their own airbrush now, the Vex. Oh. It's branded and everything. Sure is. We'll have to get dissemination, or decimation. <laughs> we'll have to get decimation one of those. Yeah. Once he becomes a diamond tier patron. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. You don't see anything, right? I don't know. All right. See a lot of stuff though. All right, so in the chat, what do you want to start with? We've got fan favorites, dungeon dwellers, a whole bunch of everything, Kalanzar, uh, the core set, of course, and the learn to paint kit. Well, I'm excited for whatever's in the fan favorites. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, kind of like the Demogorgon. It's the, troll, the troll bridge. All right, come on, come on, chat. What do we got? All right, fan favorites look sweet. Let's do it. Agreed. All right, can you hold that? Yes. Ooh. Yeah, so we're this word art styled um, blue to brown gradient is <laughs> word art. It's just word art. Yeah. 
Looks like uh, this one's small enough. We can do some zoom in. So check check this out. Check out this crazy zoom. Whoop. <laughs> I don't think we'll need to be that zoomed in. I don't think that's helpful. But again, word art. Yeah, how about that? I saved that as someone who one time um, was told that an invitation I designed looked like it had been made in Microsoft Word. It hadn't, and it didn't. Um, but I say this kind of with love and knowing how much it hurts to say it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, we've got some minis on the sides, on the edges. Yeah, let's see what I should... <gasps> I like whatever this creature is. Oh, a robot. Oh. Deep well, warp. it looks like it's got a rounded belly and kind of a confused looking face. I'm excited to see that one up close. And yeah. all these little BBs. How about these These fur balls? <gasps> I love fur balls. Yeah. I was so excited by the rounded tummy that I didn't even notice my favorites. <laughs> and I think this is a swarm of chickens. Oh. I think. I'm not sure. All right. Here we go, everybody. Fan favorites. Let's see if it lives up to be this set of fans' favorites. <laughs> If you haven't already, please hit the like button, subscribe, Pizza Dungeon Troll and Cobalt. Thank you, Jerry. Oh. Everybody, if you don't know Jerry, Jerry knows everything. When in doubt, ask Jerry. Yeah. In the best way possible, because yeah, he's sincere. an awesome person. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, I wasn't sarcastic. Yeah, no, of course, just echoing that. Oh. Jerry's the best. All right. So uh, one interesting thing with uh, the Kickstarter uh, version of Bones is a lot of them he says not quite. Not quite. <laughs> uh, a lot of them aren't assembled. So usually when you buy bones, unless you're getting one, something really big, they're all put together. And they're all bundled up and just like preformed or pre-glued mm. or whatever. Uh, some of these, a lot of these will require glue together. It is a Kickstarter after all. Yeah. But if you buy them in like the retail packaging, they're all, they're all put together. Sure. It's just the trade-off. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jerry. <laughs> All right. Uh, now we need to zoom in. All over the place. Now seeing how many minis are in this box, we're going to be here a while. So <laughs> if you need to take a potty break or get a water or let the dog out. Look how dry my hands are. Don't wait for this to end. Yeah. Can you, can you give me some lotion? <laughs> right? Lotion break? Uh, it's in the closet. Oh. You're not wrong. Thank you. It's okay to moisturize. I need two more. That's why my hand's so dry. This is the best part of a stream. I think we can all agree to that, right? But we don't want to get the minis, <laughs> so we need to rub some of it off. I don't know what the, the end game here is. And now it's on the site. See, now I'm not all. Okay, so. Oh, come on. All right, do me a favor. Hold this right here. Sometimes this camera has a uh, autofocus fun. Okay. Thank you. You bet. So now, so now we're in focus. Should be. Whatever. We'll start with this one. <laughs> Jerry, if you want to play along, put in the chat what each one is, because we're just going to be looking at them. Yeah. Oh, here. I think we got out of focus. Yeah, right there. Sorry, everybody. YouTube, fun. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Wow. Look at the detail on that robe. You can have it back if you want. No, what do you think it is? <laughs> a swamp creature of some variety. I think it's like a cultist something. Look at that hand, this like claw hand. Ah. I think swamp because their clothes look wet, not like a dry um, bone. Not like a hollow man. I've been playing Fable 2 lately, so those terms are going to come up a lot. Um, and yeah, I just really like this like scaling effect almost here on the front of their robe. This oh, is cool. Earl. Hey, Earl. What's up? Thanks for joining. Hey, Earl. That's one of those ones I was most excited for. It was a special edition from ReaperCon 2016. That, oh. was, that was before us. That yeah, was before wow. We were involved. That would be a cool, cool early level BBEG. Also, hello. Agreed. No, I think this is super cool. 
Yeah, whatever this claw hand is, is really cool. And part of it looks a little bit like it um, just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. That, that can, most of it yeah. looks awesome. That can happen sometimes with the Kickstarter version. Totally understand, not a complaint. I'm just saying like some of this detail might not totally be coming through. I think it does need a little cleanup, but it's spooky and not something you would expect to see on like a faceless figure. What do you think of the face? Figure. Speaking of the face. I think that's a, a cool concept is someone who's not painted minis all that long. It's been difficult to paint faces and this is an easy way out. Yeah. Like <laughs> but it, it adds to the effect. It's not yeah. meaningless. Now one, so this is a small, a small complaint. One thing that I, I uh, haven't super loved about all the Bones 5 stuff is so many of them have the integrated, fully integrated like oval bases. Mm. Cause I'm going to put everything on a circle base. Yeah. That Julie, you should be crazy. a hand model. Thank you so this much. Is Thank you. I would have done my nails. I, yeah, didn't know, know we were I, was, gonna... I wasn't going to say it. Well, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have time. All right, all right. Well, you're up in the bar by putting lotion on. Oh, and... uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at So this is clear, obviously. Indeed. Is this an imp or maybe a mephit? I like his big tummy. Same. He's got a little, little hand. Yeah. You could go either way with it, of course. I think it's fun. Just whack. Yeah. Greed on the base thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. So like worst case, I've, I've cut some of them off mm, to where it's yeah. just down to the foot, but I would prefer rivers. How you doing rivers? Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining rivers. Yeah. This thing is cute. It's got um nice texture to it, which is good because you don't always get that with the clear ones. I, I would hope that the texture yeah. makes it easier to paint. Well, the clear ones are tricky when you're painting them because any paint you put on there is going to reduce its um, transparency. Yeah. yeah. So, so you need to you have to like super light stuff, mm -hmm. like maybe a wash. Yeah. To keep a little, or do some dry brushing. But. Sure. Yeah, I just think any paint that you try to put on it will stick a little better. You can kind of see it in its belly. There's a little bit of texture. There. Yeah. All right. Okay, so. Reaper friends, I'm gonna be real here. This is a lady. A lot of times I don't super love the Reaper female minis. I feel sometimes there are some beach ball boob issues or posing things. I think a lot of Reaper stuff is better these days, but I still think there's a significant room for improvement. So we'll see how these go. Not the best, not the worst. Uh, I love the detail on the cloak. Sure. And I like that she's saying, what's up, y'all? Women are people. Women are people. And as many of you have seen, our community isn't always the very most welcoming toward women, LGBTQ folks, POC. So um, yeah, have this you, doesn't help. Have you seen the Blizzard Activision lawsuit? That mm -hmm. stuff insane it's it's inhuman yeah and unfortunately that's the gaming world and this is the gaming world and anything we can do on our end for that culture can hopefully propagate throughout the rest of it yeah but well that's exciting <laughs> this guy's awesome i love these wings those are some some deep cuts on those wings mm -hmm. and just a really great shadow to them yeah I'm a little nervous about painting in the back. I always, mm. I always struggle with that. Yeah. Uh, but is uh, our focus gonna be? That is an awesome mini. These fat little devils are great. Yeah. I like that he's got a a line up the center of his belly, kind of like how um, when people are pregnant oh, in that yeah. last trimester, yeah. their <laughs> their belly splits, and I like to think that this little this yeah. little person is pregnant. Yeah, I don't think it's a mold line. Now, no. Whatever this little nugget is over here, that's uh. And that's yeah. the kind of stuff I was seeing on the hand that just exaggerated that claw shape on that first mini we looked yeah. at. And I like he's got that little hook. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, very cool. I like that one a lot. I agree, and I like that they added. Just, I won't do this with every mini. I know we've only gotten through three. Uh, I like that they, the spike miss on the, um, his horns. Those kind of swirls on the horns. That's your very cool. I thought it was in focus. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, I just like these twirlies on the horns. That yeah. makes them more interesting. That's all. 
Oh no. Okay, so this one we're gonna put back in the bag. This is an example of one that we'll have to glue together. It's not gonna be too hard to glue, it's not a problem. But it's something that'll be a craft be project. Craft project. On top of the painting project. So this one's a lady, and this one I think and this one looks great. She's wearing armor, she's not wearing high heels. It's so easy. She's just a person in armor. And we have, look at that, we have two heads. Huh. Where are we at? So you can have a armor head or a face head. What was the wow code to turn off your helmet so you could see your face? Oh, the shortcut? Yeah. I don't even remember. Okay. Slash helm. Maybe. Doesn't uh, matter. That's great that they give you options. Yeah, that was a surprise. And then uh, a sword. Very nice. Oh, she's like got it stuck in the ground. Like that. Like, oh, okay. So she's. I guess. I don't know. It's kind of bent. It is. But it's okay. Fixable. If you need to learn how to unbend a mini, I've got a video for that. It sure does. It's called How to Fix Bent Minis. Busted Minis. Busted Minis. Busted. Can you put that back Yes, in? I can. Yeah, this one's great. Her armor's awesome. It's got a nice kind of bird on the chest plate for some detail there. It's not just plain armor. Lots of little bags. Yeah. Looks good. Now, this one I already have. I don't know if I got this from oh. a Halloween thing or something. Uh, maybe it doesn't have the base. Oh. Jerry, what's the deal? Why do I already have one of these? <laughs> I think it's a cool mini with the bats. And it's a good, like, vampire thing. They make it stand as, like, the boss of one. Yeah. Versus just, like, oh, here's a vampire spawn. I feel like I've never seen a mini quite that dynamic before with multiple other things. Lucky, I guess. Here. <laughs> Here. You, you talk about I'm gonna. I'm going to make sure I'm not in that. This doesn't look all that familiar to me, but it might be. Um, yeah, again, I don't think she needed distinct breasts. We didn't have to have that. Um, the bar is so low and little things like this contribute to how someone feels playing at your table. Overall though, I think this is a cool mini. I love how flowy the fabric is. This would be really fun to paint. These bats are pretty good. I mean, you don't, not everything can be painted perfectly. Um, and it's nice that- Boom. Huh. So does the plastic matter? Like which- Yeah. So I think this is maybe a Bones, early Bones 5 or something. Mm. Maybe we got it at ReaperCon last year. Who knows? Uh, you can see the Sedona injection. Oh, sure. Hey, yeah. what, resin, that's what it is. This one's resin. Ah. Thanks, Earl. Thank you. Earl is full of knowledge. Appreciate it. But yeah, I, I think that the bats aren't perfect and that's fine. I think that it kind of keeps the spotlight on her and they're meant to be framing things anyway. So that's, this is a really cool mini. Again, I could have been better, and, but a very cool idea. And it's not top heavy, despite being big. Oh yeah. Like I'm not wor worried about it falling over. Absolutely. Cool. All right, this one's gonna be a fun one. Yeah, I was right. Swarm of chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm playing Fable in which you can kick chickens. So this feels perfectly timed for me. I'd love to kick that entire swarm of chickens. It doesn't hurt them when you kick them. Zelda nightmare. Yeah. But at least a chicken in Zelda, you could grab it and float. Oh. Yeah. There are also chickens in Minecraft. And I recently played that with my nephews for the first time. And I kept thinking they were ducks because their beaks were too big to be chickens. So chickens come up a lot in games. Yeah. So re related to that, one of my, in uh, in WoW, mm -hmm. my main character, he was a, for the professions, he was an engineer. Mm -hmm. And so I had the goblin glider where you could like jump off of yeah. stuff and coast. Mm -hmm. And to this day, anytime I'm like in a building, I think I wish I had a goblin glider <laughs> to just <laughs> I mean, we haven't we haven't played it in yeah decades. <laughs> yeah, and I still I still I'm like oh man ah decade oh, we're not that old okay but yeah it. no even the detail on the feet is is really great here I think kind of the when you're painting it obviously it needs some stability to it you couldn't just have chicken legs holding up this mass of plastic but um, it's great that the chicken leg detail is in there even though you'll have to paint kind of behind it I don't think that one would be hard to paint but I think that'll be annoying. To I agree with you, especially if you wanted to do like white chickens with the red 
detail. Uh -huh. Yeah. Cool. All right. Another person. Is it helpful if I unplastic that key? I think that's part of the unboxing. All right. I don't know. What do you What do y'all think in the chat? <laughs> Should Julie pre-open? Ooh, a tiefling lady. Ooh. Excellent. Really cool. I love that her she, hair is slicked back like that. She got a little hoof. <gasps> love this giant like scimitar. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Again, super detailed in the armor, which is kind of a pain to paint, but looks really great. I love that you got the rivets on the shield. Yeah. And I don't think this one would be too hard to paint in the, in the crevasses. No, mm. oh, that one's great. I like that a lot. Yeah, not the most dynamic pose, but you need some just for a, a character that's going to be on the table every week. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. What does somebody do with all these tiny bags after? Um. I'm going to take a couple of them to put Advil in to have in my purse because then they don't <laughs> rattle around in the bottle and you don't. That's um, good. And I have a smaller purse now. So Here's one of your <gasps> little robot <things>. Hello! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there's um, an artist who does like Mickey Mouse statues with X's for eyes and kind of skull faces. And I think it's Klimt, but not. Um, Cans, K-A-N-S, I think, and we saw them at an exhibit here in Dallas. And this reminds me of that. It's cute, it's bubbly eyed, it's um, an animal creature of some kind. I get that it's a robot, but I would love to paint it not as a robot, so it could just be like a cute, round, it's yours to paint. balloon animal type creature. You can do whatever you want. Thank you. I also like that its ears look like they're made out of this knife. <laughs> they're such similar shapes and dimensions that sure. it, yep. No, this thing's going to be entirely like a soft pink color. I'm going to paint it like a possum. I was going to say a hairless possum. I'm going to paint it like a possum. Cool. Stay tuned. Join the Friday night mini painting. Will you put it back in there? So. Oh, yeah. This, oh, this is like a goblin with a backpack or a rock. He's either Stealing your goodies or gonna throw some goodies at you. The way that the rope. Thanks, Brian Daly. <laughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> We're very excited to open these. Bug yes. lips. I think the way that the rope is cutting into whatever's on his back, I don't think it's a rock. I think it's something soft tied together with a blanket. What's what's bug lips? I I thought it was just the name of one of his. Member of the Reperform community. Help us! We're just we're dumb. Explain, please. I'm sorry. This bag is full of socks. Oh, so that's bug lips. Eric, Fenstermacher. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out. I hope I got that last one right. It's based off a member of the Reaper form. That is super cool. How nice to be highlighted like that. Maybe we could make a fry mini of me. <laughs> that's just French fries. I'd love that. <laughs> it's a mimic. You did. <laughs> yeah. True. Good. True. This is fun. I love that his bag is full of socks. I look forward to learning more. Yeah. Uh, okay, another one of these. <gasps> wait, oh, wait. dual wielder. Yeah. Cute. All right, but we'll just toss them over. Yep. Uh-oh. I think you're going to like this one. Okay. Oh. Please toss us those likes. The more likes we get, the more algorithm power we'll get, and then the more viewers we'll get, hopefully. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. <gasps> cockatrice. I, th I think I hear cockatrice sometimes, but I'm pretty firmly in camp cockatrice. Fair enough. Let I me know. love to hate it. Look what? at its legs. Look at its perfect little drumstick legs. Uh, I believe if it bites you, it turns you to stone. <laughs> <laughs> I think we encountered one of these in an uh -huh. early game. Okay. There was, do it's they so breathe thin. fire as well? No? I don't know. Okay. I That's like my only time I've encountered one. Oh, fair enough. No, I think I think this, this one's so small. I'm, I'm worried about breaking it. Look how thin it is. Oh, wow, yeah. It doesn't 
look of it. Doesn't look it, but yeah, especially you can see kind of how thin those wings are, especially compared to some of the meteor stuff we've been playing with already. This is cool. Scary, a good thing to kind of pull out on the table. The tail might need a little cleanup, but no, this is great. Yeah. Stoned. Oh, it's another cockatrice. Oh! This one's a little more aggressive. Also, yes, very thin. Yeah. Oof. Pulling these wings apart to paint. Ah. Yeah, that'll be ah, okay. I'm afraid of that. Not my problem. Does anybody have any good tip for painting in situations like that? Like, I know we can bend them, paint it, and then try to bend it back. Yeah, I was going to ask, does the heat gun take paint off? It will melt the paint, yeah. Sure. Cool. Yeah, if anybody has advice, please let me know. That's probably one of my biggest, like, points of frustration anytime. So that's one of 18 bags in that box. Is it really 18? I don't know. <laughs> it felt like a lot, yeah. but okay. <laughs> so just to be clear, this is all still in there. Part of the mini set, don't steal cockatrice eggs. Well, done. Agreed. Yeah, I, I will take that advice Here. to heart. You, you open that one. Oh, yes! So, in our most recent campaign, I started playing a furball. Ooh, cut and re -glue. Oh. I did that one time, but then I, uh, from, sorry to catch up. But then when I, uh, went to put it back, it was just, it wasn't quite right. But I guess I I... I think it's great. Love this. Yes. I started playing a furball because their pink noses make me really, really happy. So, um, I, and I didn't, we don't have a mini for her. No. We haven't needed one. We've only played virtually. Um, but no, this is fantastic. Great. The right kind of fluffy pants. It feels period appropriate for what you want the fantasy of the game to feel like. Cool pose. She looks monkey with her little piece be with you hand. Yeah, I want her to give me a good berry. I would take it. I would trust this little one with my life. Yeah, super cool. Shadow tones. Highlighted enough to draw away. <laughs> yeah. Earl, I can't argue with you. <laughs> distract, distract, distract. I love Ooh. that. Josh has a question for you. Oh, my furball is a peace cleric. A cleric of the peace domain? Yeah. Okay. Um, and she's the best. She's a total party girl. Her name is Sparkles. And um, she is just like delightful and sweet and loves to um, teach other fur furbolgs how to be civilized. And um, one of the one of the people in my party is also a furbolg. It just kind of worked out that way. And um, he's a very deep swamp furbolg. And so she likes to talk about the correct table settings and placements for all different sorts of parties. She's, as a peace cleric, she's a follower of Lyra. Um, doesn't have to be what she is, but she is, and Lyra is all about that party lifestyle and good vibes only. So um, <laughs> she's she's just delightful. She's so fun, and she's such a change from my last character, who was like a New Zealandy um, barbarian. Uh, Rune Knight fighter. Rune Knight fighter. <laughs> a lot of change. I hate that we lose our chat every time. Yes. I'm I'm not. We're we're done switching scenes. Let's see. Is this the right one? Yeah. Great. Uh, Sparkles is an excellent character. Thank you so much. She is, she sounds fun and she is fun. And so, little side note, detour here. Uh, Peace Domain, absurdly powerful, Thank right? You. Like on every every kind of review, anything you look at, and just her common sense is extremely strong. But Julie's not a meta gamer. She's not a power no. gamer. And I don't, I'm not saying you have to be to play your character to its capacity, but Julie does what her character would do, not what is mechanically the optimal move every single turn so and that's twofold one i don't think that's fun and two i don't memorize stats and rules i couldn't power game even if i wanted to so <gasps> another <gasps> beef imp i like that he looks like he's freestyle like uh, throwing his mic to the crowd are you are you seeing what i'm seeing downtown oh <laughs> he's got business he's got imp business Yeah, I don't. Okay, I don't want you to look at this one until I get it open. I don't want to look at this one either. I'm going to go back to the furball that I like so much. No, you're going to like this one a lot. Okay. All right. Okay, well, hold on. Let me get it on the screen. I want you to look at the screen now. 
<laughs> Axolotl. Our friends at the Gallant Goblin sent me a poster. Let me be correct. Brady at Gallant Goblin sent me <laughs> yeah, a we're not, poster. We're not friends with Theo. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Theo's great, but Grady sent me a poster of the Axolotl character, the artwork that they had commissioned for a character in their game, and she's beautiful and ethereal and, like, magnificent, and I just love having this poster of this character that I don't know anything about. I just think she's a gorgeous Axolotl, and she's pink and blue and just gorgeous. And so I'm obsessed with this armored axolotl because what could be squishier and more wonderful than an axolotl in armor? Yeah. yeah I've been painting some of Eric's reject minis, which is fine. <laughs> I'm not like a super great painter and they're his minis and I just paint for fun. Um, but the, the detail that I won't shut up about here is really incredible. She, to be clear, she's talking about like old Bone, like original bones. Oh, stuff yeah. Stuff that's like, <laughs> like hand hand molded. <laughs> it's not good, <laughs> um, which is totally fine. And especially as I'm, I enjoy painting, but I'm never gonna be a person who wants to paint as well as the people on our chats um, on no. Friday nights who do amazing things. That's just never gonna be my area of expertise. So just seeing all these minis that are newer, so detailed, so cool. Yeah. No, I think this is awesome. I yeah. Love it. The little smirk that's always on their faces. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. Okay. Oh, the dungeon coach. I wanted hey the Bones 5 set. I missed out on it. I should have listened to y'all sooner. Yeah. You should always listen to me. Always. About D&D &D stuff? No. Yes. Well, about what else not? If I give uh, carpentry <laughs> advice, take it. I give you uh, charcuterie advice. <laughs> I don't know. You like a lot of powerful flavors on a charcuterie board. You don't have any breaks. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They, yeah. So Jerry brings up a great point, the dungeon coach. 5.5. Oh. Uh, so they open it up again, uh, but you can order some stuff. It's not the full selection. And the prices aren't quite as low as the original Kickstarter, but they're still going to be way cheaper than when you get the retail version of it. Um, but that's not going to ship until I think early 2022 is the plan. Or, yeah. I don't know. Just yeah, who no, has no. the time? Like Jerry. Jerry has the time. But check it out. It's better than nothing. And I'm just, the, all the stuff you're looking at here, I believe the fan favorites on there. Correct. 2022. Thank you, Earl. Thank you. I'm a big fan of Earl. Earl's full of information. Earl, please join our Discord. I would love to talk to you some more. Same. I broke and got the ship in 5.5. So, okay, minor detour. Part of the reason that I bought the ship, I was on the fence on the ship, and then on some of the live chats, the live streams, Reaper Live, they said they were talking, there, no more boats. We're not gonna do retail boats. Get it now or you miss it. Sure. And that's what pushed me to do it. I was like, Don't what? miss the boat. For $100, this boat's amazing. Sure, let's do it. And now they've got 5.5. And on a stream the other day, they were talking about boats in retail. So, I got got. I got got. <laughs> I got got. I got got hard. That's why everything at TJ Maxx is on sale. That's how they get you. Yeah. Limited time. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is another. Uh, is this a method? I feel like it's a method. Maybe an imp. What's Maybe. a method? A method is like a like a. It's an elemental, uh -huh. but it's kind of like a little imp. Okay. Wings and like, huh, and it, it breathes like there's a steam method, and ice method. And stuff like okay, that. the beak had me confused because it looks from here like it has bird-like features. Yeah, the oh, schnozzes. Oh, it's not a beak; it's a schnoz. <laughs> Excuse me. Methods are known for their schnozzes. Uh, done. You're right, Jerry. It is only six months from now, but don't know. Well, it feels like an eternity. Well, I guess the further we get away from 2020, the better. That's true. And another method. Maybe these are all just generic methods that we can to be different. I want to go back to this one, especially in the side-by-side, -side, because this one has his hands on his hips like he's not pleased with you. And he's... Yeah. I feel like this one's the basic pose. Yeah. Where he's just like, man. But this one is very disappointed. Earl, elemental like methods. It. Earl, coming in clutch. <laughs> Here, will you open this one? Yeah. Heck yeah. Set of five. Oh. Oh. Look it, how folksy and sweet. I feel like his name is 
burn. I think it might be <laughs> cool wrap on this. Yeah. Is this a dagger on his back, maybe? Yeah. Or his uh, uh, sushi knife. There it is. Um, love that the foot is lifting up like he's walking. Just such small details that are so cool. Great kind of carving wood on the stick. Oh, Friendly really face. nice detail. Yeah. And Whatever I, this little amulet looking thing is here. Looks almost like a zip zip pull rip cord. The dungeon coach, last question. How long does 5.5 last? When do orders close? I'll let uh, Jerry and Earl answer that. <laughs> you've got you've got time though. I think it's like a month or something. ReaperMiniatures.com. Oh, two more months, yeah. So cool. Yeah, everybody, I'm, I'll do. I'll do. I'm gonna do two quick shout-outs. One, check out Dungeoneers Pack on YouTube. Yeah. Some of my favorite build videos. Honestly, if I'm being totally real, probably my favorite build videos. So much context and lore and thought goes into them, and it's not Great just information. power game. It's like a here's a complete character. Yeah. And two, you don't really need an introduction. The Dungeon Coach. Check him out. Uh, I think he's up to 700 million subscribers at this point. Yeah, somewhere in there. Uh, and he's got a Kickstarter going. Alcanders, yeah. Almanac. Of all things, to all things, I got it wrong. We did a we did a, be, uh, we did an interview and I got and I said it wrong. Uh, but check it out. It's like it's like D and D 5.5. It's all, all new rule sets, options, things like that. It's really cool. And he looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh, okay, another one. You take it. All right. And if Jerry would open a YouTube channel, I'd say check out Jerry's YouTube channel. Eric would follow Jerry. And Rivers. Rivers is a great guy, too. I uh, completely agree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just a shout out channel. Well, love this. I love the staff. Yeah, the head on the staff is incredible. Again, his kind of bizarre hand clutching his pregnant belly. So magnificent. When you get a gut, sometimes yeah. you rest your hand on it. I yes, <laughs> people who are pregnant do that all the time. That's why I'm referring to it. I think it's wonderful. Like the spikes on the back. Yeah, this stick is particularly good, and it makes me think about um, Eric recently forced some nil bogs on us <laughs> in the campaign, and that's the maddest I've ever been at Eric. Nil bogs will mess up your party. Nil bogs are the worst, and it, they should be banned from the game. I you, hate them. You can have level 10 characters versus two nil bogs and half a dozen goblins, and they might win. And he had not level 10 characters against as many nil bogs and goblins, and we almost all died, and we were frustrated as a party, and he's just laughing. He's just laughing oh, like he I is laugh now. So hard. He really did. So this makes me think that a nil bog. No. <laughs> Thank you. You get it. Hey, but I gave the players. I gave them an, an item that uh, gives one of the players the uh, damage, ig like ignore the damage thing of a nil bog. So like, I don't care. The point is, this is a nil bog head on a stick, as far as I'm concerned. And if I could paint it to look like Eric as a nil bog, <laughs> I'd think about it. DB's here. Uh, I see that now. Hey, DB, she gets it. And she James, teehee, ho ho, <laughs> teehee ho. What, how did they say it? I don't remember. Yeah, it I was said it. ever so slightly wrong. Yeah, I said it the wrong way. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm just seeing the little claw on the top of this wing. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is fun. If you can't tell, this is going to be a long stream. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're still in the first box. I know. I'm trying to. Uh, this one wants to show you his goodies. <gasps> it's a dis it's like a, a frilled lizard Jurassic Park oh uh-huh uh-huh uh -huh. he's doing he's doing his best yeah his wings make him look bigger like when a cat puffs up yeah yeah I don't know I think these are all great I think we've talked about him enough though <laughs> I agree yeah that he's sticking his tongue out is particularly good but again he's got Bits. Yeah, I know. Uh, I Earl, know. I'll be back shortly. Going to relocate while I start unboxing my own shipping. Congratulations, Woo! Earl. Thank you. I, um, thank you for spending time with us. Yeah. Congrats. It's so exciting at these, these boxes. This is another furbog. <gasps> Hello. This is like a, like maybe a rogy Ooh. ranger. I guess this is more of a yeah. Yeah, he's got a bow. So 
Bo equals ranger, right? I got strong um, Highlander vibes from this mini. The wind and the hair oh, yeah. is really what does it for me. So the fur bulbs we've already seen, which are just like good, classic, standing there, yeah. heroic poses, those are awesome. But it's really impressive how just this like this lean mm -hmm. and the, the wave can give so much personality to it. Yeah. Like these look like nice. These are fur bogs. They're friendly. Yeah. They're great. Yeah. These are, I'm like I'm totally satisfied with those. Absolutely. But there, there's just this this one's like one level up. I agree. The wind machine, the Beyonce wind yeah. machine adds a lot. I like that he's got his little epaulets here too. Yeah. Pretty fancy. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Uh oh. Who has wares? Khajiit! Khajiit has wares! <gasps> yeah. Uh oh! I wish there was something in her hand. Uh, Dungeon Track, that's the most aggressive I've seen a furball depict. I completely agree. True. Completely agree. They're sweeties. Yeah, you know what's in her hand? Everybody's different. You know what's in her in her backwards hand? Where's? Your heart when she rips it out of you. Cool! Rakshasha. Yeah. Cool! Are these blind boxes? No. DB. These. This is from the Kickstarter. We're still going through one box. And we've got a whole box of boxes on the floor. This is gonna, this is gonna be We're gonna be here a while. Hours so. though. Let the dogs out. So. Yeah, let the dog who No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh <laughs> Okay, so cat. Rakshasa, remember? No. Uh with the backwards hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like a devil. Like or is it it's a devil, right? A fiend? This is a fiend. I don't know those sort. categories. Maybe it's a generic fiend. Like uh hellhounds? They're sure. not they're not devils, they're not demons, but they're fiends. Okay. Information I'll surely retain. <laughs> no, this one's cool. I love her feet. Yep, her backward hand. Oh <laughs> she has wears. <laughs> uh another axolotl. Look at this sick sickle. Hello. Here. I love it, but you're more excited. Yes, I am. Cool pose, dynamic. She's like, no, wait, we can be cool. We don't need to fight about this. Let's role play this encounter, said no party ever. I certainly don't say that. I'd rather just kill stuff. Um, even as a peace cleric, it's it's complicated. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, it's hard. You're like, you're at peace when you're dead. That's exactly right. That's your goal. Don't kill my good vibe or I'll kill you. I'm fine <laughs> with that. Yeah, this is great. Um. I don't know about kind of the slit that has her leg bared, but she's quite muscular and that's awesome. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, I suppose. Great detail on the armor. Really would set apart this mini at the table. Love axolotls. Super cool, super cute. So what stat block would you use for an axolotl? Like which which race type? Like you, you could use uh, Tasha's custom lineage. You could use Grung, which is like the frog people. Are you asking me about stats? With the skin. <laughs> Uh, Lokatha, I think, would probably be the best bet. Yeah. Remember your Lokatha? Oh, yeah. I remember my Lokatha that I had to create because Eric killed one of my characters. The only time. Uh, here is... <gasps> is this like a little fox? It looks like a fox. Is this or a little, raccoon. <gasps> is this a little fox or raccoon man? I think it's a raccoon based on how chubby it looks. Foxes are usually narrower and sleeker, I assume. Or is she... she Shiba Inu. Yeah. A dog. <laughs> Shibu Inu? It's a raccoon, says Jerry. Oh, okay. Raccoons. So I cute. Yeah. Uh sometimes I think the animal anthropomorphic stuff gets a little outside of my realm of what I'd like. Sure. Uh but like those owl owlin in uh the upcoming uh, curriculum of Chaos. Uh, those look so awesome, though. They've got those huge eyes. Mm -hmm. And those are the most animalistic things. Mm -hmm. but, I just want to say this raccoon is ripped. Look at that meaty arm. Aren't they all, though? They have to lift uh, dumpster lid. No, they have cute little hands, according to Bob's Burgers. Uh, this th way off camera. This dude's going to throw his, his dagger at you. I love this one, Baldrog. Yeah. 
Um, That's true. I don't see very many bald minis. No shame, Eric. Are you also a bald rogue? Could be. Uh, I like Some of my favorite drag queens are bald queens. He's even got his little boot laces. Oh yeah. No, this this one is really good. Yeah. Excellent detail. Nice, crisp, clean, good pose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even just like that little foot up gives, yeah. it, gives it a lot. That's what I was saying with the furball. Mm -hmm. That makes a difference. No, I think that's great. Yeah. Yeah, not not one that like okay, a rogue like sure, not one you expect to stand out, but yeah, but it does. I, I agree. Good call, Eric. And again, this one has a distinct nose, which the ones I've been painting don't have. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're completely right. I know. So, some of those are so bad. Oh, <gasps> axolotl. Is this is this supposed to be like a barbarian or like a rogue who's gonna climb the wall? Oh. Based on the yeah. amount of pockets and things, I want to believe this is a rogue. I see the little dagger, but anything could look like a dagger on something so small and sweet. Yeah, the kind of hunch going on here is adds a lot to the character as well. I mean, you see actors do that and you learn something about the character for sure. No, this is great. I love this. What are these things called? Grappling hooks? Anchors. Okay. Yeah, grappling hook, yeah, I guess. Yeah, so fun. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And certainly not on an axolotl. <laughs> That's awesome. They also have these in Minecraft now. That's another thing I learned from the nephews. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Minecraft. Well. All right. I guess I, I guess DB. I guess this is a blind bag. We don't know what she's putting in each bag. Yeah, they're all full of surprises. And just to be clear, we're like halfway done with that. First I know. Time. I'm gonna start unbagging these because it's taking too long. Sure. As long as it doesn't spoil your surprise reactions. Nope. Uh, this is like super Rakshasha. Oh. Look, look, so he got his hands. Yep. I was. I think it's funny that people that don't know what a rakshasa is, and then they see this mini. Yeah. And they think the hand's backwards. Yes. Uh, but no, I've never seen such a muscular one. Like, she's Louise. Look at no. That. Yeah, that's the rock. If the rock were a. Yeah. Tushy. That's almost like my back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't, I don't know that I like this pre opening. All right. Well, then go faster. <laughs> Okay, we've got another uh, Mephit. We'll skip over the ones that are just like packs of a bunch. Yeah. I like that this Mephit is so fat he's sitting on his tummy. I wish I had this one for my Avernus campaign. I'll ask I didn't get the fan favorites. Oh. I've, I would almost take the fan favorites over the core kit. Bold statement. I, I, fan favorites never disappoint. Goodies, treasure, a uh, bunch of potatoes. What's happening here? Cockatrice egg. Don't steal the cockatrice. Oh, okay. I couldn't tell from that angle. Yeah, there I didn't. Is. I didn't get it until I said it. Ah. I, I figured it out as that's why I said potatoes. <laughs> Classic. Another one of your little little things, but with an axe. <gasps> Hello. Tim Fry, it's been great. Gotta go. Thank you for being here at all. Thanks for hanging out, Tim. He's in Michigan, so he needs to get his sleep yeah. since he wakes up at 3 a.m. <laughs> Love you. Talk to you later. Bye. Yeah. Another cans, cons, cause. It's with a W. K-W-S. Cool. <laughs> All right. You're going to like this one. So keep your eyes closed. Everybody get a good look before Julie. Ooh, we need to do a little cleanup on that. All right, go ahead. <laughs> looks suspiciously like a certain cleric from Joe Manganiello's jam. <laughs> I love this more than I've ever loved anything in my life. Thanks. You're welcome. You brought this into our home. <laughs> that one is great. This is incredible. The texture on the skin. I think that shell is the same shell as the dragon turtle shell. It looks like one we've seen before, for sure. Here, here. Like, sc scaled down. Yeah. Well. It's got, so I, I did 
did a crazy job. This one I tried to make it look like an underdark dragon turtle. Uh, but it's got the same. Oh, wait. Okay, I guess those are totally different. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the skin, the expression. I don't know what turtles sound like. Yeah, um, no, you're pretty close. Thank you. Oh, no, I've no, never no. met a turtle. I've never been bit in the face by a turtle. You've seen those videos. And whatever kind of nubbly ground is here, too, is, is interesting. It's not just a rock pattern that you would see. It's not cobblestones or anything. It's, of course, you would encounter this in the wild, but... Yeah. I love this! I love this. He's large, though, so that would be a challenge for the player. I don't care. I love it. All right, here you go. What have you been waiting for? His name is Beefcake Lasagna. Yes, it is. And he's simple and sweet. What's up, Kelly Preston? Hello, welcome. Thanks for clicking in. If you like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe button if you haven't already. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> um, love this. Oh, and thanks, me. Eric. Am I the dragon turtle oh. I painted? That was that was the, the wildest one I think I've ever painted. It was a long time ago, and I I think it holds up too. Um, yes. This facial structure gives me BFG vibes, big friendly giant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and his buns. His buns are adorable, and his riveted can, spine. On a, on a scale of one to ten, everybody, ten being awesome, can we get a buns rating? Those are just cute little old man buns. Yeah, I think eleven. Thank you. Yeah. That's I think the, the right answer. adorable buns are always welcome. Yeah. Gator turtle was awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Jer Jerry's got you. Got, you, you can do better. <laughs> it's good, but uh... <laughs> Jerry's wise to the world. Phenomenal. All right. Looks like we've got a couple more cockatrices. This one. Whoa. Ooh, he's hunting. <gasps> ooh, the tail. This is like an angry pose, I think. Yeah. Yep, they yeah. use their tail to protect their bits. <laughs> These are so sharp and detailed, though. Yeah. Excellent work. Yeah. Looks like the station from Bill and Ted. Wait, where did I just see that? Oh, it's in there, Jerry. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit, I've never actually seen Bill and Ted. I haven't either. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Another cockatrice. This one, ooh, this one's fancy though. Oh yeah, that's that one's on parade. That one's seeking a mate. Cockatrice on parade. Yeah. These are pretty cool. I agree. Oh. <gasps> oh, this this must be who's stealing the cockatrice egg. I think his name is Hambort. Yeah. That's exactly. Yep. Is his name Hambort? Hambort. Hubert. Look at his little oh, feet. Look at how fat those meaty feet are. Is Perfect. he is he a halfling or a human? I love it. All right, three bags down. <laughs> oh, this y'all, this is the big one. Dragon egg thief. Oh, dragon egg, not cockatrice egg. I thought it was cockatrice. Egg. Mm. Uh, so this, as you can see, it is fully, completely disassembled. So, it's this. <gasps> oh. Ugh, or two. I don't want to move the camera. But it's like uh, the Demogorgon. This two is heads, painted. Weird tentacle arms. This is a huge base. Excellent detail. Yeah. Look at that hoof. Yeah. Want. I look forward to painting that. Good luck to you. I don't have a Demogorgon. All right. All right, looks like a lot of these are gonna be need to be uh, glued together, so we'll just keep them in their bags. <gasps> Alligator man. And he's got a caveman hammer. Cool. Crunch, crunch, crunch. And his little turtle shell armor oh yeah you can see the detail in it the yeah plating uh for these that are in the bags if there's anything that anybody wants to see in particular let me know and we'll, we'll open it up i just don't want to 
do that for every single one. Yeah. Yeah, this gator thing is cool. Oh, hold on. We've got an army of gator people. Amazing. This one has a spear. Oh. Yeah, nothing notable about it. It's just cool. All right. I'm going to need some help here. <gasps> what? Oh, it's bone a bone golem. Ew. Skeleton skeleton golem. Ew. Well, good news, bones are so easy to paint. Like Yeah. So you just do a a like a linen on here and mm -hmm. then cover it in skeleton horde <laughs> contrast paint. <laughs> totally cheap. And then you can do a little more linen and dry brush on it. <laughs> have like a graveyard bone colored paint as well uh, i've got yeah yeah i know that's cool i hate it but yeah do you, do you hate it more than the guy with the hole in his tongue? no no i hate things you, with open he's wounds right, he's right there you want to grab him? no okay <laughs> second one's out julie's two favorites blah, 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 blah. I gave him the nice flowers. Thank you. I like the bone golem doesn't have a distinct head. I agree, Jameson. He's just. Yeah, bone the whips. movement, kind of the hurricane thing Meatwad does is, is pretty cool. Uh, it is nice. It keeps them alien. Completely agree. Agree. Especially with like the elementals that have heads and faces. Yeah. Like sure, that way you can under like understand. But but this is great. Yeah. Especially as a something you have to fight. Yeah, and Kelly, it does. I thought it was vines at first. That's why I said I need help. So I wasn't sure if this was gonna be like a, a vineyard golem. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you, you, if you uh, grapple and you've got a five percent chance to get some wine. <laughs> I know that was a good one. Uh, another gator with a giant axe. Wow, that's a cool axe. That is a cool axe. Detail on these is just amazing. Another one. This one's club <gasps> has unicorn, unicorn horn. I think it's a, a shell. Oh, like from the beach. You got a little skull. Which would be even more terrifying because if it shatters on you as a shell, it'll just become yeah. broken and cut you like oh. glass. No, thank you. This one, I do want to point out, he has a, a bit of a Tums. He does. He's got a rounder belly than the six pack ones. And I like that. Ooh. Oh. Uh, I think this is probably, maybe this is an Ifrit or a Jin. Jin. Oh, he's got the, it looks like air. Like an air genie. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I encountered one once. Yeah, that face is great. Yeah, lots of detail. Wow. That bell's really cool, too. Oh, yeah. The fourth scion. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay, hang on. I want to take this one out just to showcase that belt a little better yeah. because you, you can see that it was detailed, but it's a face in the belt. And then this kind of, I don't know what kind of fabric this pant is, but that's really cool. Plus, a ripped grandpa is always kind of funny. <laughs> Hey, Brian Daly, thanks for the help on that one. Yeah. Welcome. That's cool. All right. This is the last one for this first box. Ben. I have one more thing to say, and I think you'll like it. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so the, Tell the whole story. The scales on his shield, one of the things. Shield. Sorry, skirt. The, they go up, and one of the things that Eric. Um, the first Super Bowl that Eric and I ever watched together, which like we don't really watch those, um, but there was a Doritos commercial where, which Doritos are my favorite food, and the person had made samurai gear out of um, Doritos, and Eric just very nonchalantly was like, samurai gear wouldn't have them pointing up like that because then a sword just gets stuck in them. And that to me was the most insane thing that I've ever heard in my life because he knew how samurai gear was supposed to work even with Doritos. And so I noticed here that these things are pointing up and that's just an easy way to get your sword stuck. Yeah, and now you that's... To, you want it to slide off. You want it to deflect. 
And now that's information that's in my head, the same way that it's in your head. And again, I ask, does Eric know all of our nieces and nephews' birthdays? Oh Maybe God. not. No. But does he know that? Well, he does. I'm, I'm afraid that you told the story that I'm, I'm, I'm confident that I'm right. But I'm sure somebody, because this is the internet, is going to whip out a thesis they wrote on it. <laughs> and uh, about True. me being wrong. Small attacking from below, you can't even reach it. That's fantastic. That's great. <laughs> Bloody Nux, also down for the ripped grandpa. <laughs> it's just, it's hilarious. Okay, so this is the last one. This is a big one. Oh, we're going to open this one. All right. <gasps> Hello. Oh, why does it have a collar? Oh. It's a mount. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, no, it's not even that. No, it's a belt. <laughs> it's a magnetar. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> uh, so we're not gonna, we're not gluing them right now, but we'll, uh, we'll stick them on. This is weird. I'm just gonna say it, it's weird. Do, 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 do. Super centaur. weird looking and it has big ear holes that maybe the tusks oh go they in. both go in I'm, okay, never mind. well it's a puzzle i thought it was gonna be one in each hand putting together a puzzle live on camera is tough well gotta tell me i'm off camera i was too busy focusing on whatever it is that this monstrosity is uh yeah so he's got these tusks that go in. Okay. yeah we're not gluing them together yeah. But this thing is massive. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. So yeah, that's where the tusks go in. There's yeah. those holes on the side of his face. It looks like it would go in an orc army. Yeah. It looks like it would lead the orc army. Yeah. There's one tusk. It's Manoroff. I don't care for it. I think it's it's weird. It's I don't. But how does he wear pants? I don't care. <laughs> he doesn't seem to need them. That's true. He's living his best life as is. All right, all right. Um, one down, twenty-eight to go. Here, let's do let's do the bridge. We're gonna do the bridge. Can you um just to make. Timeline easier. What time is it? it is 8.11. 8.11. Okay, so that's uh, 71 minutes. That's when we go to the bridge. I'm writing notes of when we're switching boxes. Sure. For so easier can, bookmarking. Yeah, so I can do the chapters. Uh, we can open this. We'll just... So this one, here yeah, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. This is like a like a battle map. I would love to get that one. Kelly Peterson says. Yeah, it's cool. This is not normally. I'm not a big terrain person. Uh, I like to use virtual maps. We've got a TV set up on the table uh, and I can hook it to the computer and load up maps. Uh, but this just seems so cool. And for the price of it, it's great. I will admit, I thought this was bigger. I did think this was bigger. Uh, WizKids makes a bridge that's like absurdly just crazy. Get it for my town. Chapter two, Descent into Madness. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Daily, welcome. Daily? 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 Let me know. Mayor, Mayor Daily? Close. I think it's Daily. I bet it's Daily. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Wait till you see the baby troll. Daily? Oh, Daily. Oh, Daily. Uh, so we've got, okay, it looks like this one isn't, this is still in sprue form, so we're okay. Oh, no, it's not, okay, whatever. Uh, this is the, like, Nightwalker. Ah! I was thinking, like, Blade, but yeah, I don't know, no, nothing I just said makes sense. <laughs> like, the Bridge Keeper. Oh, no, he's got the sheep. He, he's got sheep. Oh, so he's what do you a call farmer. what do you call a sheep? Herder. Sheep, shepherd. Sheep god. Herder herder? Shepherd? Shepherd. 
This is a shepherd. A sheep god. I'm a god to you. <laughs> so his head goes there. His little feet go there. Goat herder. Yeah, these are goats. Okay. Okay. Well, I wasn't. We I don't live on a farm. I didn't have him in front of me. No, I get I'm it. Trying to remember. Sure. Uh, so he takes his little goats. Uh, sheep wielder. <laughs> I made a bridge out of XPS that looks all like. See, that's something I need to get into. X it's XPS. Boom. Oh. Like I'm making it. Like I'm making it. Uh, and start making terrain, but we barely, we don't have, we don't have enough room for the minis we have. Trying to terrain. We. <laughs> uh, one time we looked into getting a uh, pet goat. Yeah. Because my allergies and goats are like, maybe they're okay. Well, goats live outside, so it wouldn't yeah, be Yeah, that's true. That's livestock romancer. Yeah. Love that. Uh, but we found out, we're in Texas, we found out to have pet goats, you have to get them debutted. Butted, that means when they're like little, you take out their horns and you literally, this is no joke, you take, you get a knife, hot, this isn't graphic, it's too funny, and you pop their horns out. It's called the bud. The bud. And we didn't want to participate in that. Also, I don't know what goat poop looks like and I don't really want to find out. <laughs> uh, there is a sheep wielder in the Greek, we didn't get the Greek expansion. Uh, is it a Cyclops? I bet it's a Cyclops. Sheep wielder, that's awesome. I'm continuing. Livestock Omancer is very good as well. Only has one eye. Daily knows what's up. Okay, so this what? is. What is this one? Oh, give me the sprue one. I've got to. Uh, this is rocks. I've got. I can put it back together. What, what, what is this piece? Come on, Jerry. Where you at? Earl. Ooh. Troll nest. Ew. Oh, yuck. It's a troll nest. Ew. Stinks. Oh, yeah. It's got a human skeleton in it, a couple of rib cages. Yeah. This one That's I love. Gross. Yes. This is so cool. That's amazing. I've never seen anything like that. What we're, we're getting it. We're, we're just grabbing the bags. We'll get to that baby. You spoiled the baby for us now. <laughs> no, I'm excited to see it. Trolls lay eggs. Well, I know, but a nest, yeah. like I get it, but. <laughs> Billy Goat's Gruff, this is Billy Goat's Gruff, they eat the tin can. Uh, but just this idea of a mini of a mini like that, I think yeah. is really clever. Completely agree. Yeah. It's spooky and gross and awesome. Super clever. Feels like a bar of soap. Oh, you can see even like the teeth kind of bubbling in the water. This is amazing. Very cool. Wait, where's the baby troll? Is the baby troll in this one? Or is it in the nest? Oh, that could be its head. <gasps> it is its head here. We'll open it. It was in the troll nest. Sorry, I didn't I didn't get that. I didn't realize that's what we're saying. In the yeah. Okay, so this is its head. Yes. Or is that all of it? It's got a hand too. The troll, yeah. Oh, it comes out of the egg. Oh, ew. They do lay eggs, apparently. I thought you were just joking about the nest. But no, you're yeah. totally right. It pops out of the egg. That's. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think it's great. It's gross. But OK, that is kind of cute as a concept. And then here's just a good old fashioned troll. Blah. Yeah, great detail. It does look like a gremlin. <laughs> Don't talk to Julie about gremlins. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Oh, wow. We're that was a cool set. We just tossed him over there. Well, I'll deal with it later. <laughs> All right. Oh. Here. This is this is the one that's the, the bane of my existence. This is the dragonborn. Or the dragon folk. So the, out of all the stuff on my order, I added these dragon folk last, and that's what caused my want me to get on the uh, delayed bus. Indeed. Don't think of those eggs; rather, they're just loose tumors. <laughs> Jameson. It was full of teeth and fingernails, hair, teeth and hair. Negative inspiration. <laughs>
wiggly, wiggly. The camera up there is on a big long arm. There we go. Those are awesome. I need more Dragonborn. That is cool. Yeah. And uh, as we now know, official 5e Dragonborn have tails now. I think they're cuter with tails. I like that. I was always pro tail. Yeah. But when I, when I did AL and everything had to be raw, I have a tail. Oh, you can say you have a tail, but you don't have a tail. Sure. Um, what is that stick made out of, do you think? This? It doesn't look like wood. It's so twirly. Uh, wrapped up wood. I don't have a problem with that. I was just curious. Yeah, I, I would stick it with wood. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Like it's bag. Oh, now this one. Look at this one. This is great. Big, beefy shield, but really using this great axe or versatile battle axe. I, I think that this is um, like a geode at the top. I think it's a little collection of like spiky geodes. You know what I mean? And it's wrapped up into the stick, like the stick grew around it. Sure. And I think that's a really cool idea for a staff. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that before. Snap to that. Well, I think that's really cool. Sorry. I said exactly that. Well, it was a great <laughs> idea then, and it's a great idea now. <laughs> Container, yeah. I'm telling you, and it was just, it was so annoying that the, the thing that I threw on last was like, what got me stuck. It's a classic axe sculpted in the 90s. It looks like it. Yeah, very I, much so. But I don't dislike it. I love how thick like corn on the cob these scales are yeah i think that'll be really interesting yeah it's really nice to see not like just skin like snake skin yeah yeah very cool all right Ooh. i'm gonna i'm gonna say it one time in skyrim there's a series of books that you find for story can anybody in, tell me what Skyrim book series I'm talking about that would make me think of this? I sure can. I bet Jameson can. Uh, but this is like a cool bard. Yeah, I like it. We need more things with instruments. I agree. And it's nice that the instrument isn't just on his back. It plays a central role in who he is. Got three sculpts. Okay. Not familiar. My my dragonborn daughter had a tail before it was in fifth. That's fun. Your dragonborn daughter? I imagine the daughter played as a dragonborn. And oh. To have a tail. She didn't have an actual dragonborn daughter. I don't believe that this person gave birth or otherwise raised a dragonborn. I like I like these uh these straps. I don't know what you call them. Jameson guessed. Jameson got it right. Okay, yeah. The lusty Argonian. It's about a maid. Yikes. Here we go. Here's Captain Hero. Where are we at? Where's our focus? Look at that. A cool dragon wing shield. Nice mace. This would be a great cleric. Yeah. I'm a guy. Either way, yeah. Yeah, I think that worked. Uh, I said give birth to. Oh, so okay. yeah. Or otherwise raise. Looking up is interesting. We don't see a lot of minis that look up. Yeah. I don't know if it's glued differently or what, but I think that's really, it's little touches like that that can make a big difference in a totally fine mini to a, oh, that's cool yeah. mini. Yeah, agree. Archon the Cruel, 100%. And it goes, we've got that dragon, or that turtle. We're going uh, to make a whole Archon party. It's Archon, not Arkham? Yeah, it's Archon. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's uh, probably autocorrect. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure, because Arkham, like Arkham Joe Manganiello's character. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, that guy. Oh, thanks. Um, okay. uh, that guy definitely has a Bahama in my, is my homeboy shirt. Yes, Dragon God. Oh. <laughs> the good Dragon God. 
any is my homeboy shirt is very good. Uh, this next one I think is really great too. I, so I am glad I got this set. Yeah, you should be. These are really cool. Like this this robe. Yeah. Steve with the loot. Yeah. That bar would go great in my town. I love having um, like just NPC town. So Wiz Kids makes these box sets of unpainted, and I've actually done a bunch of videos uh, painting these up and reviews. Uh, check them out. But I think they're great. They're good value. It's like like the biggest one. I think is like fifty bucks. And you get like fifty mini. That's that's probably Wiz Kids' best deal. They're really cool. Yeah. Although the sculpts, uh, I think the the face. A lot of the faces are, are kind of flat. Yeah. yeah. They might not be as detailed as these, but they're not heroes anyway. They're kind of Yeah, I definitely decor. feel like those are the, the B prints. Sure. No, this one, I, I think this is great. I really like this one a lot. I love it too, and I'm loving how many different kind of dragonborn snouts we're seeing. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not the same head with like tweaks to it. It's a completely different sculpt. Yeah, so that's one of the advantage. Would these be sold as singles? Uh, I bet they'll be sold as singles, but I do know that they'll, there's a retail package where you get this whole set in one box. Mm. So I would be shocked if these aren't available as singles, but you can, you'll can you be able to get them just as single in the box. Um, because this is Reaper, not WizKids, they, these aren't like technically Dragonborn, right? They're oh, Dragon Folk. Sure. So Dragonborn previously are mostly just like bronze, brownish color and they all have a similar look but now they're now they're whatever you want yeah and people have always homebrewed it of course like oh i'm a, I'm a if you're a black dragonborn you have like that long nose and twirly horn mm, and stuff like that sure but raw that wasn't quite the same. sure uh they're being sold in sets of two or three okay good to know thanks, thanks eric um bloody the variety isn't that good yeah I just want to go back to this one. The shield is really cool. It's like dragon inspired. And did you talk about it? I did. I'm sorry, I missed it. I was thinking about something else. It's like a dragon wing. That really impressed me. Okay, the end. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Call back. Yeah. <laughs> Where was I in that moment? Who knows? Jameson's been rereading Dragonlands, and oh. I like the, the or, I like that original origin for dragonkin and draconians. Yeah. Uh. Well, Bisbin. It's going to give us the, one of the new books. It's going to give us a whole new kind of Dragonborn race, it's like an alternative, like a, like a reprint, reimagining. And it's a trillion times better. <laughs> and you've got uh, gem dragons now. <gasps> yeah, so you can be like a sapphire Dragonborn. Done. Uh, and those, but I think Draconians, I think, are stuck as uh, monster sap blocks. And I'm assuming I'll be getting the books for those too, so stay tuned for tons of coverage. Most Dragonborn take on aspects of the dragon they follow. Yeah, they take on like a little little bits, but it says most of them in the in the PHB are that brown brown color. That that's how you can have like a red Dragonborn. But again, homebrew, it's your game. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, this one I like, but this is not the strongest one. For I like that bow. I think that's a good thick bow. Yeah. Yeah, just super imaginative. It's so great to have, you know, with the way that Eric plays that you have to have a different mini for everything. <laughs> um, it's great to have truly a different mini for everything. These are so distinct, so detailed. They're really, really great. Yeah. Uh, in Dragonlands, the Draconian were created from the eggs of the metallic dragons corrupted by Pisces. How do you say it? Is it Tachysis? That's what I always thought. Is it Tachysis? I like uh, Tachysis. And it were twisted to be chromatic. Yeah. That's a cool... That, honestly, that story, that reminds me of WoW. But I guess WoW would remind me of that. With uh, Meltharia? Melf, Melf, or no. The one in Blackwing Lair. All right. So this this is Brian, Brian Windextrous. This is going to be a, a big one. A lot of these we won't open because there are things like docks and stuff that are cool. But if there's anything you see that you do want me to open, let me know and we'll take a look. Of course. So, literally a dock. <laughs> 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 the Ferion, yeah. Uh, I I love what, because uh, he could do those class 
calls uh and like oh everybody has like like the priests and then they'd have different abilities and different things depending on which class he called it was great yeah you never did well. no uh this is a, this is a cool doc yeah <laughs> Oh, this dock? This is also cool dock. Uh, so I do like that these aren't, like, if you can see, they're not level. Yeah. Which is on purpose. So it's like bumpy, rickety. Ricky. Yeah. And we've got little little accents. Yeah. Priest call calls their healing to do damage instead. Yeah. Oh. Old school. Wow. Yeah, so we played vanilla through um, Northrend. And then we came back and we did a little bit of uh, Pandaria. I didn't even know we were still talking about WoW, so. Oh, uh, in the chat. No, I get it, but. So one thing that, <laughs> what, I hate it when people stream and they just like ignore their chat. Oh, totally agree. If, yeah. If you're, if you're two people doing an interview and you aren't leaning on the chat, I get that. Sure. But how, how are you going to ignore your chat? Your people, they're here, they're, they're here with you. Yeah. Now this is awesome. Could you grab the. Smaller version of this in the closet. Yeah. So Reaper makes some really awesome boats. Check that out. This is really big. It should still be in the box. On the shelf. Is it? On the left. Oh yeah. Uh and so one year, actually, how I uh, my Reaper award that I won at ReaperCon for painting I used the boat. I used this boat. This is uh, Bones Black when Bones Black was brand new, and these were hard hard to get. So I've got an extra one. Uh, but this one's a little bit bigger. A little bit. I like that little curl detail. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Yeah. And check out all these accessories. Rose. Or uh, oars. oars. We don't go outside. No. Treasure chest. What is this? Is a bag? Sausage? I think it's like the um, bag of things that you would yeah. put overboard to keep cold. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We did that when we'd go fishing in the boat. You'd keep like this little cage, this little flat, yeah, yeah. flat cage. And you'd keep that in the water. So your fish you catch, you keep them in there so they're still alive. Body, yeah. It honestly could be. Bat kiddos wanted to see the ship before bet. Boat sausage. Boat sausage. <laughs> well, we've got it. We've got a little bit of time before that boat. Another dock. I think Earl's box arrived today, and their kids wanted to oh, see the boat. Oh, I I thought you were calling us kiddos. <laughs> no, Earl. Thank you. That totally makes sense. I'm <laughs> not smart sometimes. Uh, ooh, okay. What is this one? Is this a, um... Looks like the, like the light that you hang at the end of the pier. And then just some... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just some, some boxes, some barrels. Yeah. Or like a, like a... She's correct. She, she's all, <laughs> she's all... Take my carpentry advice. Hire it out. <laughs> um, the, the drunken mermaid bar. Oh, it's a little bar. So you oh. put that there. Is there a mermaid? Well, that's a good box. So you can yeah. open it if you want. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh. Uh, well, it's funny. Oh, those are seashells. I thought I thought she got smushed. Oh. Yeah. Couple of boxes. I love boxes because they're easy to paint on the wood <laughs> on the wood beam. Yeah. Does anybody want to? Here, oh, never mind. We'll, we'll we'll keep going. Uh, crate and barrel. All right. What? Walk me through. What do we got? What is this? It just looks like more. Earl works there. Oh, Earl. Where do you work, Earl? Oh. What? Received 
minis on Tuesday, but spent the week in prison, so first chance to get a chance. Welcome oh, he, back. Oh, he works in prison. I think. Earl, do you work in, in prison? Or do you work in that reaper, which is like what I thought at first thought. Uh, okay, well, I'm learning a lot. <laughs> so these hang, right? Oh, I, I bet it's just like a like this. Like a corral. Yeah, a corral, cart corral. Sure. Okay, that works. Correct. Earl is not an assassin, or at least not a caught assassin, I guess. <laughs> uh, more crates. Prison. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. Hope the kids enjoyed the boat. Yeah. Uh, crash ship. Shipwreck. Shipwreck. A little skeleton. Oh, he go he goes in there. Mm -hmm. Died with his ship. Oh, it's it almost seems like a shrine. To... Oh yeah yeah yeah. Davy Jones locker. Oh, and these are cross so. Totally. Yeah. Oh yeah, and to. Man, these are so cool. That's very spooky. I don't know. I'll figure that out. Glow in the dark. Ooh. The glow in the dark. Yeah. See, I got the regular ship. Oh. The glow in the dark was cool. Pirate shine. Uh, I just felt like I probably couldn't do a jo good job of justice to it. Mm. Sure. Although I will say I do wish I'd ordered the Groom Reaper masthead, because uh, the masthead is like, like a mermaid lady. Mm. Dead men tell no tales. So inspired to do a nautical horror campaign. Ooh. You're gonna do that? Uh, a check out Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft. Excellent, shockingly good book. And then Ghosts of Salt Marsh. I love Ghosts of Salt Marsh. Not super duper the nautical mechanics. We didn't. I didn't. I don't really do that too much. But just the whole island, the exploration. Yeah, it was flavor, a lot of fun. The flavor of Salt Marsh. It was our first big Homburg campaign. Oh, you got it. I just wanted to play with this. I just, again, this is really cool. Yeah. Like, even just as set, set in the mood. Now, you know, to do it justice, I would need to paint this, like, glowing green. Yes. And then, but yeah. I'm not that good. Well. But Ghost Salt Marsh is excellent. Yeah. A high, I, honestly, I think Ghost Salt Marsh is the most underrated by the Wizards of the Coast book. I can't speak to that, but I had yeah. a lot of fun with Eric as our DM when we homebrewed it. Look at this thing. Oh. All right. So is this a shark boat? At first I thought it was one of those things <gasps> where- oh, you hang the shark upside yeah. down and bleed it out. But there are bodies on there. Oh, I'm way off camera, guys. Uh, so you've got his little fins. That's cool. Plug those in. Zombie shark raft. Wow. <laughs> Get a raft. <laughs> oh. Raft of the damned. All right, yeah. I'll figure that out later. Very cool. So, like, this is a creative thing. Yeah. Straight from the Watchmen comics. Oh. <sighs> yeah, the bodies on the underside of it that would be dragged, you can see there, is a face and a distended belly that's been cut open. Ew. <laughs> Ew. It's cool, though. Oh, uh, we have a collection of barrels. Again, terrain scatter. Like, you can use that in any anywhere. Some more barrels. These ones have the bottom, so they stack this way. A oh, this is this must be for that bar. A uh, little chair table set. Excellent. Again, you can use that for anything. And a wagon. I love a wagon. Do the wheels spin? Let me know. Can can these wheels spin? I mean, it's got, is this an axle? No. <laughs> a 
Oh my god, no. What what is this? I was hoping it was an axe. I don't know. Oh, is it the I think it's the things that go alongside this to connect the horses to on the outside. Where? Like if this is the This goes here that they pull and then Okay, I'm like Well, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> Uh, I think it's supposed to be the axle. Oh, no. Okay, look, look, look. That hole, my one of my holes is just small. Oh. Oh, so it is. Yeah, that's okay. If you ever get a, that, you can just drill it out. That's not a big deal. But yeah, and then those we'll do a little glue in there. And then it'll spin. That's awesome. A working wagon. That one's a, an A plus for me. I think that's great. Okay. Nothing I, makes you feel like toys more than wheels. Though. Agreed. I just want to point out on this shark one, it's got, um, so that's what it'll kind of look like when it's assembled with these different little bars and everything on it. But this bar in particular has half of a person and then I think <laughs> that's a, like a fish mouth. I can't tell if that's just an open wound that when know. you look at it upside down is a fish mouth, kind of like little frog eyes maybe, um, or if it's just half of a person. But it's messed up in like a spooky, gross way. Anyway, yes, I love putting these little things together. I do think that's a fun yeah. little puzzle. Uh, an ogre-drawn carriage is an excellent idea. So those are all good. Yeah. That's pretty gnarly, bloody Nux. It is. Yes, gnarly is the correct. All right, so we, we just finished those. Here, I'm gonna we're gonna do something. I made this today. We're gonna test this out. I want to show everybody how amazing in Photoshop I am. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little bit of uh, self promotion during this quick little break. Check this out, everybody. Welcome to the Fry Minis House of Shameless Self Promotion. It's like a market stall. Yeah. I hope you can hear little uh, market noises. I need to move over a little bit. <laughs> uh, this is maybe the cheesiest thing I've ever done. Let me know if you think so. I, I think need it is. six eggs. That's two works, friend. Sure. <laughs> uh, okay, so please, if you haven't, uh, fryminis.com. That's the website. Everything is linked there. But check us out here on YouTube. If you haven't, please like and subscribe, notification bell. And if you really want, we've got the new members. We just launched that the other day. $2.99 a month. You get a cool little icon. Uh, you get cool stuff. It's three bucks. Uh, and maybe maybe some exclusive content. We'll see. We'll see. Don't hold me to that one, but we'll see. Uh, over on Patreon, you can join uh, from $1 up to $100. Uh, and we've got a whole range of things, exclusive tier, uh, exclusive uh, Discord stuff. Uh, we do a painting contest. We, if we get enough people, we'll actually run a special patron only game. Uh, I have PDFs monthly, um, lots of cool stuff and special posts there too. And DMs Guild, I've got a bunch of great stuff over on DMs Guild. You can download, I think it's all pay what you want. So it's free, uh, Instagram. I'm a little behind because I haven't been painting, but over there we've got tons of minis. That's where I post all the minis I paint. Uh, and Twitter, I'm on Twitter. So I hope somebody buys a health potion for me. 50 gold pieces. I was going to do like a merchant accent, but we were afraid of how that would work out. All right, thanks for the quick break. <laughs> uh, where's our button? There we go. Uh, yeah, here. Well, while, while we're taking a quick break, what's been your uh, favorite? What's your standout so far? <clears throat> I liked the axolotls. I thought they were really cute. I did think the dragonborns were all excellent, but obviously, furbolgs being some of my favorite, the microphone's broken. Um, furbolgs being some of my favorite, I really liked the furbolgs. But all in all, I, this is great. Eric has too many minis, in my opinion. It's his money, he can do whatever he wants. Um, but it's helpful if it's your money too through Patreon. And he, um, a lot of them are kind of the same. They all blend together. But this, 
each mini is distinct, and I think that's really special and exciting about this set. Overall, I'm very impressed. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that. The terrain is kind of a waste of time for how we play, I mm -hmm. think. But yeah, whatever. I just thought the bridge was cool. Sure. Yeah. Well, the bridge came with that amazing puck bar of soap yeah. mini with the yeah, troll in yeah. it, so that was fun. Yeah. But like the docks and the crates and the bar, we I don't think we'd ever use that stuff. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, I forgot a plug. Oh. In the in the video description, the merch, the shirts. Oh, of course, the merch. Stream, stream, stream labs. There's a link in there. Uh, loyalty punch card for those potions. <laughs> you you buy stuff, I'll make you a po punch card. Runes and rarities punch card. Yep. You bet. <laughs> Custom designed. Cool. With a heart shaped hole punch. All right, let, let's let's jump back in. Well, here I'm gonna take a drink of water. Everybody, if you have a drink, take a drink. I was taking a drink while the stall vendor was going, so I'm hydrated. I'm good to go. Never can have enough. I don't know if that's health potions or water. Agreed. But no wrong answer. All right, let's uh, switch back. I hate, I hate that it wipes out the chat. Yeah. I feel like nobody's chatted, so we need more messages to fill up the chat again. <laughs> Buddy right. the Elf, what's your favorite color? All right, close your eyes. And imagine. All right, go ahead. Oh, let me zoom. Okay, go ahead and open open this one. No. <laughs> this is one of my favorite parts. It's just a massive bag of bases. I know. You don't have to open it. They're bases. They're nice. They've got a lip on them. Yeah, Reaper bases are my favorite bases. They've got good texture to them, so you don't have to rough, rough them up before you put any um, basing stuff on them. Kelly missed our 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 plug, our merchant. We had a merchant stall. <laughs> okay, base golem is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we forgot to do the time log. Sorry. Shoot. We'll have to go back. What time is it now? It is eight forty-three. Eight forty-five. And we're going to basics. All right. We'll keep it down here so we don't get lost. Great. Baseball. Uh, uh, but for real though, Kelly, we did the um, uh, brine wind extras. So like docks and stuff. Oh. It's elemental genies oh. things. There. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, more ripped grandpas. Oh, these are incredibly high quality. Skulls. Yeah, this is fantastic. The horns with the ridges on them again. This beard that isn't just a blob. It's got individual kind of clumps of hair. So it almost feels not like fine hair, but like clumps mm -hmm. of hair. This cool skull detail on the belt slash loincloth, whatever's magic source is kind of coming out of his hand there. Well, it is. Well, sure, but it looks like he's got uh, a sword in this hand. Fireball. Yeah, he's casting magic with this one. That's really cool. I could use that. He's also got toenails. Very long toenails. Where's Jax? J A X. Is that Jacksonville Airport? Well, an yeah, hour behind. Jacksonville, is that, Florida. Is yeah. that right? An hour behind us? Yes. Okay. Wait. No, we're an hour ahead. You're an hour behind me, so we're. Yes. We're an hour behind, so yes, East Coast, Jacksonville, Florida. I hate time zones. Yes. Plus it's hard. Yes is the correct answer. Okay. Um. Ooh, and the skull motif is repeated on the shoulder too. Very cool. Do we need to come back in? I would. Oh, can you put them in? Well. <gasps> oh. How are you doing? Well, his his Lakafa points got stuck in the bag. Oh. Yep. Super dude. Yeah. Well, it wasn't this. It was his hair that got stuck in the bag. So something happened there. But okay. Giant Lakafa. <laughs> toenails and not claws is upsetting. <laughs> That's what they looked like. They looked like toenails. This is a Merid. It's a water genie. Oh, I had a Merid familiar. 
No, you did not. Okay. Um, I thought I could summon a Merid. And it would maybe do what I wanted and maybe not. On Trufo. Like a, like a, well, this is very cool. The kind of bubble pearl effect of the water is excellent. His raised freaky four fingered hand. A little cleanup needed in his finger crotch. Yeah, this is. Yeah. We can fix it. Heat gun. Of course, if you don't have a heat gun, you can do boiled water and blah, 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 and then stick it in cold water and shock it. But heat gun will take all day. Yeah. This thing is awesome. I love these bubbles. Yeah. Do you think they're not bubbles, but fish eggs? Okay. I said bubbles are pearls, and yeah. I'm more comfortable with that. Yeah. No, no there's the merit in the... Um... Oh, shoot. It's in one of the recent sets. In the chat. Sure. We've got a couple, or we've got one of those. <laughs> so, so, so I, I remember, I remember. Uh, so uh, the dungeon coach, he has not bought many flying boxes, mm. but he bought like two and got one. two marids. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he wanted zero marids. Of course. This is really fun. Great detail, beautiful vest. I could see this being all the colors of the Little Mermaid. I like this a lot. Yeah. Look at his weird fishy head. And this doesn't seem like part of a fin. It seems like a horn. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a free fin or if it is a horn, but I'd like to believe that it is. Yes, this one is definitely bigger. It's, yeah. it's meatier. Um, do you think that he is a cleric? So he can cast a spell called Find Traps just so he can yell, It's a tarp! Yes. Sorry, everyone. I don't think you know what General Akbar sounds like. No, I don't. I've only ever seen the meme. Paint Club knows what's going on. Hey, let Paint Club know what's going on. I'm going to rub his belly for good luck. <laughs> Jerry, what do you mean let Paint Club know what's going on? I put in the chat like 50 times the... So normally Friday nights we have a paint we have a paint night thing. Are people what are they doing? I'm oh. to figure it out. Uh, we have paint night, and so this is a override. T tell them tell them to read the chat, Jerry. Thanks. But please join us on Discord. Link in the description. Every night, video chat, paint night, hangout party. I got you. I don't, Jerry. I don't know what this GIF is. But it terrifies me. Oh, oh no, that's the station. That's Bill and Ted. That's what oh. he's talking about. And it does, it, I agree, that thing does look like it. You're right. So this one is just boobs. <laughs> but her Viking head is badass. Look at that. She's got a Hema? <gasps> Emma? I know, isn't this fun? Yeah. So that goes there. And then she's got a hand. Yes, I believe this is intended to be a woman. <laughs> Using uh Kelly wanted to know. Is oh, that is that know? yeah. We got two hints. They're not subtle. 75 millimeter scale. I figured they were just uh, oversized. The dragon head is very cool. Yeah. Dow. Uh, oh, Earth. This is the Earth one. Ah. Huh. I'm afraid of painting these large flat surfaces. Yeah. The kind of rope. Yeah. Like it almost looks like braided. Braided leather as her armor. That's interesting. I wouldn't think of a dragon as being part of kind of an Earth set. But that's cool. Like, if given the, I don't know. I would think the a dragon in the sky, not Earth. But yeah, the oversized breasts are on this. Too. Yeah, I thought it was a fire giant at first. Aztec style. So, uh, do I use an airbrush? No, I need to. I want to. I've got somebody who's going to hopefully teach me 
on our Friday night paint nights. Mm -hmm. uh, but check this out, and I haven't, we haven't used this yet, so this is still experimental. This is the first time anybody's gonna see it. We've got. <gasps> oh, you moved this into it. Uh, airbrush cam. Woo! Airbrush cam. Woohoo! Look, the chat didn't change though. That's oh, all. huh. So it That's must weird. Be something in the way it's set up. Yeah, my first one, learning and loving it. Yeah, so I've got airbrush over there. It's set up. I've just I've never actually used it, and we've got a camera set up so I can do it on stream if I ever do it. Oh yeah, this is a different camera. This is not a. <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Oh, the chat stayed that time. Huh. That's weird. I wonder if it only. Uh, I'm thinking about it. If it goes away when we don't have the chat on, like the oh. um, market thing. Didn't Sure, that makes sense. Uh, I think our timing is gonna be messed up. Yeah, well. All right, all right, all okay. right. Uh, this is Kalanzar the Dragon. This is one of the add-ons. And I think it was, I don't know, correct me, but I think it's like 15 bucks or something. Oh. But it, when you do, when like when it's eventually on sale, it's going to be 40. I, don't I was going to say, 15 is the deal. Yeah. So, but this is like a full assemble one, right? So you have to put it all together. Wow. Giant feet. Huge body. So this one stands <gasps> really, really tall. Yeah. No, this is a very, very good. You can see its teeth, the cool horns. Even the hands are textured. Wow. Yeah. That's excellent detail. A great base. Mm -hmm. A lance. Poor knight. And huge. See, this is why I need to airbrush. Yeah. <laughs> Huge, huge windows. Yeah. What did they sound like? Okay, just wanted to be sure. Yikes. Thanks. <laughs> I support you too. <laughs> if you grow bat wings out of your face, I don't know. That's weird. Beautiful dragon. Hopefully when I paint it, it stays beautiful. I think it will. You do a nice job. And I look forward to seeing the airbrush. All right, up next, we're gonna do Dungeon Dwellers. It was these dragons that prompted me to get mine. They're mm -hmm. all excellent. It was, I, if there was anything that I would have just gone bananas on and splurge, it would have been to buy all the dragons. But I had a mental hard time getting past $500. Good to know. Um, This dragon is sculpted by Julie Guthrie. So that's the name that Jerry said earlier yeah, yeah. that I didn't register, that didn't register with me. Uh, trying to keep these notes okay so dungeon dwellers uh i actually i think i might have a couple of these probably mm. maybe maybe more than a couple uh because a lot of these are what i wonder you order from reaper mini.com and you hit 40 dollars or more or what every time you hit 40 dollars in your cart you get a free mini so you can add one and it's from this big selection it used to be a mini of the month which it was cool, but it sucks because if you spent eighty dollars, you got two of the same mini. If you spent one hundred twenty dollars, you got three of the same mini. Mm. Now you get a small selection you can pick from. It's fantastic, uh, but a lot of those start out the oh, the dungeon dwellers start there. Julie's crazy because she still does it in green stuff. The original the, the sculpting soft, material. Yeah, like wow. Putty, like putty kind of wow. Well, hats off to her. This one I'm gonna open. Thanks, DB. Sweet Thank dreams. you. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming. Out. Good to see you. Talk to you. <laughs> As always. Uh, but leave your phone playing this stream so we get the extra view. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. We're all sorry. Yeah. See, like this <gasps> owl. Like we. I painted this a long time. Yeah, ago. he did, and it had a cute little egg. No, that was a different. That was the whiskey one. Well, one of them had a. Cute this egg. one I painted like a, in the blue jay thing. Yes, I thought that one. I can picture it. I just no. thought that one had the egg. No. 
egg. Maybe it was a troll egg. All right. But I think this is, this is a great sculpt. This one is tons of fun to paint. It's easy. The hardest part is getting in the wing there, but it's so hidden that it's not a big deal. Uh, the wings are like wing level one, two, and three, so it's easy to separate out. Yeah. This this one is a very... Maybe you should paint. I think you should paint this one. This one's fun. I'll think about it. Because it's like... it's not. And I'm not I'm saying it's easy to paint, yeah. but it's... It's got so much built-in detail and kind of character to it. Yeah. And as we've been talking about, I haven't painted anything that's nicely sculpted yet, so... Yeah, and we have 7,000 owl bears, so... And I love owl bears. Yeah. All right, so this is the dragon from the box. It's uh, in a bunch of pieces, so we'll just take out the main piece. <gasps> yeah. Well, if she's in green stuff, it turned into good stuff. Yeah. I like it. Wow. And then we've got the wings. And there's something else in there. Oh, the hand. The hand. Mm. Excellent. Classic dragon. And like you want the big dragons because they're fun and they're good show pieces. But sometimes the size of a mini is good if you have a sm well, smaller party. If you're mm. like level five or six or something. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, so this I this is a big bag. Right. Nothing. So these will all have names too. This is uh Duty McDude. Yep. Look at those thighs. <laughs> yeah. Those are meaty. I, I love this uh this like cape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's it, nice it's, to see it. Yeah. A thin cape that's tucked in like when you put your hair in a ponytail. Yeah. And we're listening to stream beats, by the way. Oh. My hair's heller. Alpha gaming. Uh yeah. yeah. It's like little chunks. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about. The Kickstarter stuff you need to find out. Yeah. Ah. I like this. He could be wearing more clothes and that would be fine. He looks just like little John from Robin Hood Men in Tights. Yeah. I believe that's who they base this on. I will uh, not be convinced otherwise. I've never played a halfling. No, me neither. I'd love to play a halfling someday because those... Those re-rolls are just yeah. wild. <laughs> and the idea of playing a halfling is fun. Sure. Yeah, that one's nice. Yeah, looks good. I assume she's meant to be a lady because she has a long braid, but she doesn't have any other features that are weird or sexist, and I think that's great. Agreed. A uh, grumpy old man. Mm -hmm. Stay off my dungeon terrace. <laughs> Stay uh, out of my cave entryway. I like his little spell effect. Mm -hmm. This is this is another one that the pose brings so much to it. Yeah. If he was just standing there, like yeah, it'd be fine. It's nicely sculpted, high quality, but rah, going for it. Yeah. yeah. Cast, get off my lawn. <laughs> I love that. Does that do force damage or psychic damage? Ooh. I'm gonna say force. I'm gonna say that um, a grandma would play a mind game on you. A uh, grandpa would just shove you off the lawn. Sure, 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 sure. In my experience. Uh, this is one I think we have a couple of already that we got free one time. It looks fine. Yeah. But it's good quality. I like the chunky plate. Yeah. Classic cleric, though. Yeah. Absolutely classic cleric. Yeah. Ah, uh, this one, this one's not gonna be great. Absolutely not. No. This doesn't give them credit. I want to be clear, but I'm impressed she has it closed on at all. The Reaper will often do. Like, oh, I'm familiar. Yeah. And I get it's so cute. No, I don't. Uh, love this hair. 
Do you see this like mop of hair? Oh, that's like Cabbage Patch Doll. Yes. Yes. <laughs> With this torch, this little adventurer. This one's oh. this one's great. Yeah. Love all the adventure gear kind of loaded up. It feels very Danny first Vito. character, yeah. but in a really good way. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. We're going on an adventure. I know. I didn't want to make Hobbit references, but I did. They're appropriate. Yeah, this looks like a Cabbage Patch Kid. In the best way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a little kobold. <gasps> I like their kobolds. Reaper's kobolds. They're like, kind of like dogish face. I like which is too. throwback. Um, yeah, we've got so many Reaper kobolds. Now. I know. I suspect there are a bunch in this bag, right? Here we go. This is another one we've got. Uh, but it is good. Looks like he's from Lord of the Rings cartoon. Yeah, yes. the old one. I thought that too, but I didn't want to say it and misspeak. It was my thought. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you saw that. Yeah. Big beefer ogre. Oh, wow. Grumpy face. That sad little ponytail is always so funny to me. <laughs> it, it's not sad. It's stylized, but it, it feels like a sad little ponytail. Yeah. Yeah. No, this the is bear head is a really nice detail. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, I painted this one. Yes, you have. Yeah. Oh, that's a troll. Big troll. Ah! I like this big flat base. That's fun. Yeah. Uh, his spoon collection is nice. Oh, yeah. I wonder what that was. Oh. I thought spoons would be really cute. Uh, yeah, I agree. Detail. And he's got some buns, but they're too muscular, I think. Yeah, he's wearing a thong, so. Oh, and he's got, he's loaded. Maybe this one isn't exactly. No, he's not. It's, it's a... okay, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, I think it's just like a repose. What? A very, oh, Loki, did you make a Loki joke? No. Oh. Ooh, I don't have this one. This is a new one. We'll do the next batch. Very fun. Yeah. Orc. Heavy armor. Classic. Going to come destroy your village because you encroached on their their village. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this set isn't very exciting. I mean it's it's cool, but yeah. it's not dragons and axolotls, so some more, another, we're kind of bored. Another cobalt. Another cobalt. Well, <laughs> another cobalt, another cobalt, uh, another cobalt. This one has a shield, though. Cute. That's fun. Yeah. All right, much bags. All right, I think you'll like this one. This one's full of characters. All right. So these can all box level back again. Right? Oh. All right, Julie's turn. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, <gasps> oh so we're gonna have a bunch of goblins. Oh, that's a goblin? Yeah, okay. a reaper goblin. Oh, he's taking a knee. <laughs> Hi. Also believe that Black Lives Matter, so I like what he's doing here. <gasps> Another goblin, this one an archer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one looks familiar, but lots of goblin mini minis can especially Eric does a really great job at painting them kind of all to look the same, as though they're all in the same group or tribe or whatever goblin hordes are called. Um, so the, it's nice when they have distinct poses, but they, as minis, don't stand out all that much. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Love the pointy ears coming through the hair. I always love that detail on elf type creatures. Yeah. Good mini. <gasps> Goblin riding a wolf. Spoiler. Good night, Eric. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, Eric, thank Join you. Join us on Discord. Yeah, 
Yeah, please. Discord. Hang out. Yeah. Thanks for joining. This is super fun. Yeah, that is fun. Yeah. Goblin. Okay, this one's a really chubby goblin, so I want to look at it. Oh. No, kobold. Kobold with a crossbow, almost as big as he mm. is. Best part of Discord? It's free. You bet it is. <laughs> Oh, another character with a, what is this thing called? Grappling hook. Another grappling hook. That's the second one I've seen ever, and it was both today. Very nice. Nice cape. I think this is the woman. She's fully clothed. I, look at that. I believe she's a woman. Yeah, we've got a couple of those. We haven't oh, cool. Mm. Yeah, looks good. Those little knives. <gasps> I hate these masks. Yeah, we've got a couple of those. I haven't painted it because we don't like it that much. I don't. Classic old school fig. Yes. Yeah, things like the like a ten foot pole stuff like that. People, that's that's what I liked about that halfling too. That he has all his gear. Yep, another one of these. I hate these masks. I went to some sort of museum at some point as a child that talked about the plague and had one of these things, and it was just I knew then that I hated it. Well, they're gross. I'm allowed to hate things. Orc. Is it? Yeah, it's also the exact same armor. Oh, okay. The face is just so, like the jaw is so defined that it's tough to really figure out what's what. Onward. Is, yeah. Great, again, the foot lifted up, very cool. Yeah, I like yeah. the pointy bows. Good detail. And another goblin. Cool. Oh, and more dungeon dwellers. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, okay. This is the last of the, the ba big bags. I think this is going to be our longest stream ever. I agree. Thanks for sticking with us. Thank you for sticking with us. Or for taking a break and coming back. Yeah, totally. If you need to, you need to crap, go for it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I meant like going to bed. <laughs> Although, if you have to back go later. to the bathroom, you can take us with you. If you're on your phone. Anyway. Don't encourage it. Oh. Don't encourage it. I don't need to encourage <laughs> it. It's, it's done. Don't normalize it. Yeah, we've got a, several of this one. This is a cool wizard. I like, yeah. the, I like his gloves. Oh, but yeah. He's like more... This whole set of dungeon dwellers, is they're, they're like equipped. Mm-hmm. That's a good point, especially that kind of first character hobbit that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. He's got all the gear he needs to have a good time in a dungeon. Yeah, I think the Dungeon Dweller line is really good. Yeah. Monk. You could, you could use as a cleric. You could use it as an actual monk. You could use it as an NPC. Tons of options. We've got another Goblin Rider. Yes. Or goblin Wolf Rider. The old school vibe that Jerry mentioned is really all of these feel old school, like, classic d, &D. Yeah. Yeah, no, like... Artificers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love or, that helmet. Yeah. Boom. Yep. Like a bowl that you put spikes through. Yeah, this reminds me a, of a, a Warcraft 1 mm. orc. Uh, bu -bu -bu. I think this is also the longest I've gone without looking at my phone in a long time. Mm. Okay, I think we're gonna have a bunch of skeletons too. I love a uh, like just like a bone skeleton, mm -hmm. but I also really like an armored skeleton. I agree. Uh, also, if nothing else, when skeletons have different weapons and things, you can switch up the damage type a little bit, and that can give you a lot. Because usually, when you fight a skeleton, you're fighting eight skeletons at once. Yeah. And if one has a has a glaive or whatever, so it can reach, and if one has a bow, it's a little variety. Yeah. Are these on the Reaper website? Uh, I don't know if they still are. They might be. I don't know how they rotate the promo period stuff. I don't have. I don't have it where I can easily share my screen. They go to in metal, metal oh. there. Some rats, nasty rats. I like. I think these are reprints from regular bones. I feel like we've got regular. I think so like too. That. Yeah. 
one. I'm so glad I figured out how to do music on this. Yeah. Orc Archer. Ooh. That's a cool bow. Yeah, that studded leather loincloth is cool too. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And that pose feels like an old school pose too. Yeah. A little halfling with his lunch bag. <gasps> I hope mom packed me a brownie. Yeah. Second lunch. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a sweet looking one. Ooh, this one. Like, we painted this when we were playing Salt Marsh. This was our elf NPC. Oh, yeah. I remember her. Yeah, I like this mini a lot. Yeah. Also, the... very easy to paint. Mm. Extremely easy to paint. Mm -hmm. The wand or um, staff is really cool, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is... I think maybe you should do this one. Well... Not the best, but the rest of her is great. Yeah. This is what we, when we say beach ball boobs, that's what we mean. Where it's just like half circles stuck on something. The rest of it's great. Yeah. I like her face. She's mm -hmm. Look at my armor. Oh. Dwarfertons. We've got a couple of these too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Reaper Bones Day is like Christmas, but less delicious. <laughs> That's true. I didn't make a cheese ball. Put put that on the website, John Overton. Now this, I've got like six of this guy. Oh yeah. That's familiar to me. I feel like they gave this out at Reaper Con last year too. I don't know. I don't know. I could be I could be making that up. Or no, he's in metal. He's in metal. Goes to Salt Marsh board Ooh. game will be out soon. Yeah. So one thing that's interesting. So the board games uh, used to be a fantastic source of getting minis, mm -hmm. and because you get like fifty minis and the game, and it was like sixty bucks. And I don't think they were their A tier prints or anything, but uh, they were great. But now, like Salt Marsh, I think has like ten minis in it, right? So it's I think they I think they caught on. Mm. Just gonna hear yeah. our workspace. Another beach ball, vampire. Like things can have a chest. That's fine. It's just, yeah. That's disappointing. Uh, this orc isn't disappointing. This was one of those. Yeah. Uh. I think this is one of the first, like of the top of the year or something of the freebie giveaways. Oh, yeah. That kind of, is that stuff leather yeah. hat thing? Yeah, probably. Yeah. The way that it's floppy and not a big, you don't often see studded leather headpieces. Kelly, do you, do you play the games? Do you actually play like the board game? And if so, how is it? I love the bent shield. Busted shield. Oh yeah. I think this guy's been through some stuff. Already. Yeah, adds a lot of character. See, that one's good. Great. I like your haircut. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that shield will be fun to paint. That's a very like '90s haircut with the middle yeah. part and the full bangs. I do like that kind of throwback. Sometimes fun to play. I like that she's holding her helmet. Oh, yeah. Cool. And the last one from that set is a barbarian woman. Dungeon Dwellers, mostly a great set. Room for improvement. Yes. I think I'd paint the orcs up as hobgoblins. That's a good idea. Oh. Although I actually don't have that many orcs painted already. 
But I also don't have a bunch of hobgoblins with me, so. That's uh, really clever, yeah. Wow, we're gonna zoom out. What time is it? 918. Fill to paint. So, I got this because it's a nice little, like I said, a nice little box set. Good variety, and it, it wasn't a lot to add on there. Sure. So, we've got a bunch of paints, great paints. Uh, and a whole selection of minis. Yeah, I think um, their Learn to Paint kits are really great, and I've recommended them to folks who are getting into painting and only had good reviews. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Really helpful, great skill building, great sets. Comes with brushes. Excellent. Do you wanna you wanna go through this one? Sure. All right. Another uh, set of instructions here with all the different names that I won't remember of the minis that are going to be included. And painting tips, advice. Consistency. Yeah, a really great step-by-step -step guide to do this stuff. So when I first started painting, re their older learn to paint kits are actually how I started. Like I, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos, tons, tons, tons of YouTube videos. Uh, but when I came down to actually to do it, it was these. Yeah. Very cool. And again, a, a color guide. The minis? Yes. And I'll cut these open. As I said, tools are for when you're being fancy. Leave it as your name. Please. Yeah, a nice kind of wealthy town folk is the way that I would do this one. A uh, distinct style of dress that feels fantasy, kind of Robin Hood style, but not. Um, I don't think we have very many minis like this. That's nice. Yeah. I would like to paint her up as a necromancer. Even cooler. <laughs> Even cooler. <gasps> Khajiit has arrows. That one looks like Pathfinder. Yeah, it, the style with the feather, I think, in particular. Mm. Um, yeah, I guess it's add your own string to the bow. They usually don't have string. I guess I, I usually hear them holding, but not um like wielding. Yeah, it's, like just, this. it's too You're totally small. right. Yeah. yeah. Good detail. I think this feels very small to paint as a new painter, but that's yeah. They're the pros. So all I, the details I think would get muddy. Yeah. In the, in the shirt and stuff. Yeah. That one I'd be nervous about. Yeah. Ooh. Big John Beef. Yep. Sure. Yep. As a paladin. Cool belt. I mean, this little detail here. Yeah, this looks very fun and like a good detailed, but not too much the way the cat was mm -hmm. when you're getting started painting. It also looks like just like a classic hero. I love this. Boulderkin. I love this. Cat folk are Guthrie as well. Thanks, Earl. Skyrim hammer. I love this. I love this. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Wait, he doesn't have buns. He has one bun. He has, he's a unibun. Unibun. And that's okay. He's What's... perfect as he is. Oh, this hammer. Yeah, I gotcha. Is it the glass hammer? Okay. Is this a monk? Yeah, sure. Monk, wizard, sorcerer, warlock. Good. Adventurous pack. Nice set of detail, but not too much for a new painter. As someone who's practically a new painter himself. Yeah. I will say these oval bases aren't so bad. Um, on smaller characters, I think, because mm. it's not oversized and it's yeah. But when you put it on one of the base, that's an extra height thing. And it's sure. Just, and I'm always gonna put it on the base. That's well. I like her hood. It's nice to see a crossbow. Um. Okay. <laughs> this dude's naked too. <laughs> I have a lot of questions. How um, does he shoot his bow with a sword in his hand? You know, that's one of the mechanics of this game that's always a bit of a struggle for me, and I hope my DM isn't paying attention when I switch weapons. Magic bow. It's, it's auto shoot. He just holds it at you. And yeah. It. That sounds right. This is an old mini. Right? I think this one's older than Jerry. I think this is like Reaper's first mini. The 
could have done better. Well, they chiseled it out of limestone. Um, it's not the detail that bothers me. It's um, not the level of detail. It's the details that they chose that bother yeah, me. Yeah, no, I know. I know exactly. What you're <laughs> Maybe this set wasn't the best. No, it's not. Oh, but look at this guy. That makes well, that's up. something. That's great. It doesn't make up, but it's great. It doesn't make up. There are few playable women in this set. A thick orc wizard necromancer. necromancer. Yeah, with the skull motif everywhere. I love fur capes. I think they're a great thing to be able to paint. They are they always look good, even when I paint them. I think fur cape or like the owl bear that Eric was showing earlier, I think these are great. Not the worst. Yeah, well, yeah. The only playable woman. The hip hop bothers me. Okay. Well, learn to paint. But not women. Is this paints? Yeah. All right. Six paints. Ooh. Dragon gold. This looks very similar to the new gold color that you don't like me to use. My favorite gold of all Reaper gold is cursed gold. Oh, cursed gold. Cursed gold is fantastic. It's a great metallic consistency, first of all. But it's just, it's got that right amount of like orangey yellowness to it. He's right. Yeah. It's a true like video game gold. Mm -hmm. Just black and a good deep brown color. A nice kind of mid-range skin tone. Yeah, so you get a lot of versatility out of a lot of these that you can use for other things like that. That's called Swarthy Flesh, but you can also use it just easily for a leather. I love this canary yellow. I just wonder if it goes on as good as it looks. <laughs> I completely agree with you. The yellows can be tough. Yeah. And this is one that I would love to have because you paint something bright yellow and then you inevitably have something brown and you can just kind of blend the colors together and get a lot of depth to what you're painting. Nut brown is a funny name. I know. Ooh, I love that one. Dragon green. Yeah, that's a beautiful color. Yeah. It looks a little more blue on camera. Nice variety here. Some workhorse paint here with the different kind of browns and blacks here and then a very exciting yellow. I don't think Eric has yellow that looks quite like that. That canary no, yellow. Ye yellow is a hard color. Yeah. And it's one of my favorite to use, favorites to use in minis. A beautiful, bright. It's, again, the reflection makes it seem a little brighter, but. Show us the name. Dragon blue. Kind of a nice, I'd call this a true blue is what it looks like in person. Yeah, yeah. Cornflower. Ooh. Blade steel. This is a good one. I've got yeah. this. Yeah. I think I actually have dragon blue. Blade Seal's a really good one. Yeah, it's not too silver or too gold. It, And it's not dark like um, one of the steel ones is a very yeah. deep black color. It's like solid white. Solid white, solid black. Workhorse color. Mm -hmm. Woodland Brown. Woodland Brown's a good one. This is very, very, you can use this for so many things. That's one of my go-tos. Brilliant Red. Mm -hmm. Same. Doesn't look quite as vibrant in person. It looks more usable than it does here. Yeah. And twilight purple. The, these, I all of these. I use all of these. Yeah, great collection. And for new painters, this is a, a perfect collection of paints. Yeah. Skip the minis on this one, but the brush, the Reaper brushes are great. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're best in the world or anything. I don't know, but I use a lot of Reaper paints or brushes. Yeah. All right, so it's, uh, we've got 927. But it's just, there's a lot. Yeah, well this, <laughs> this is gonna be, this is the biggest one. Okay. Uh, core. All right, I hope everybody's ready. Here, let's zoom out to start. Bones 5 core set. All the guts. 
Julie's gonna love that one. I don't want to show her yet, but she's gonna. That's gonna be one of her favorites. All right, uh, we got some tape. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Whoa. So bad. It's a bag of bags. What? That's a lot of minis. <laughs> We've already gotten a lot. And this is a lot, lot. All right, here. We'll start here. This, so, and a lot of these will be in pieces. This is, oh. Oh, this is multiple. Okay, never mind. I saw this and thought it was the whole thing. Uh, I don't know. Move it a little bit. Oh, my arm was a little Okay. This is like an elder brain. Like a lithid thing, kind of. Or it's like a thing in the sewer or something it's called. But I would use it as an elder brain. The tentacles have spikes. I don't like it. This I have in metal and I painted forever ago in like a pink purple color. Yeah, he's super cute. Yeah, I'm glad more people will get this now that it's not like ten dollars. Yeah. <laughs> this this is just a classic. You can use a demon, golem, imp, what like whatever. I'd use him as a familiar if I Gargoyle could. Gargoyle element, yeah. So cute. His little arms, little T Rex arms. What is this one? Virus? Oh, I think this is the um Thing with the face. Enjoy your free your stream Dungeoneers pack. Thanks for hanging out. Oh yeah, thank you. Good luck. I'll player check layer. With player layer. Oh yeah. Uh I gotta go get set up. Set up for your stream right now? No, tomorrow. Your stream's tomorrow. Is it? Or is it tonight? That's When's your tonight? stream? Put put a put a put a link in the chat to your stream if you're still here. I think it's this, the Jabberwock. Oh. Oh, tonight. It is tonight. Oh. Throw throw a link in there, everybody. Or for. I don't for think everybody. they show up. Oh. It takes links out. Gotcha. Well, everybody. Cat. No. Oh, is it the Catablepus? Yes, it's got the tail. Catablepus. Catablepus. The Dale Ward. Whoa. Dave showed up. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, Dave. Uh, good night. Good luck, Josh. Have fun. Hopefully we're not doing this forever. Uh, Catablepus cow kind of thing that gives death gaze. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. How is soccer? Uh, this, is this a cloaker? Is this a cloaker? What is this? 90 degrees. Ugh, oh. too hot. Yeah, this is like it comes out of the cave. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I totally get that we have to put the minis together, but it's it's hard to show off. Yeah. Uh, a basilisk? Six <gasps> legs. Or eight, eight legs. I'm excited for that one. Ooh, this is like a... Uh, Carrion crawler. Ugh. Not yeah. excited. I do not like those. What is this guy? He's got a head. Oh, this is Krampus. Oh! I think. Is this Krampus? Yeah, he's got a bag. I'm familiar with the legend of Krampus. I don't know why it's in this set, but okay. <laughs> sure. Where else would he be? Oh. Why would he be? Is the Easter Bunny in this set? Yeah. Is it? No. <laughs> well, damn. Oh, a bunch of weapons. Those are good because you can give you a mini. All oh, the mini's perfect, but he's got a mace and I need a sword. Boom. 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 Uh. Wheelbarrow? Oh, wheelbarrow. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to move a little quicker. Army or uh, armor dummy. There's a. Very similar. 
Oh, this is an archery. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little tripod archery practice round thing. Yes, archery target, exactly. Yep. Oh! Whiz kids, Reaper. This is one of the first time I did like fry minis. A freehand something, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is what they look like, so it's not anything crazy. But. Yeah. Oh, it's the same one. And a uh, full ar knight armor, plate mail, cool. statue. Animated armor. Bam, bam. Nice set dressing. All right, we've got a zombie or a yeah, zombie. I couldn't tell if the head was on a... It is, but you can see the face. Oh, I couldn't tell if he was holding the head in the hand or if it was part of a... Another zombie. Another zombie. It's a, it's a cur... <laughs> Statue's oh. already painted. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Thrifty Steve, welcome aboard. Thanks for checking us out. If you're interested, like, subscribe, join us on Discord, hang out with us. Uh, this zombie, I like this zombie. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, so busted. Uh huh. And her feet. Oh, yeah. That's cool. So many minis. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, I've, I've got that tub, all the minis out, and then the tub of minis that are in these, like little bags. Yeah. Oh, this one's cool. Here. Uh, you can put her in a repurposed block. Oh, okay. Gotta keep them together, especially when you have this many. Just by box level. Yeah. She's like a witch. See? Oh. The broom is funny. With the lantern yeah. on the back. Is yeah. it a lantern? Yeah. Oh. It could also be a rocket booster. Yeah. She's got her little owl. A little mm -hmm. raven, probably. I think this is a really good witch. Yeah. That could have been Trufo. I like the the movement in her hair too and that she's wearing someone else's rib cage for armor i would like to see zombie villagers oh well give us one second and we'll bring them back so that zombie villager and i can zip lock those well these they're in one these are in one skewpy or jesus okay um this is like uh another zombie villager Sprue. That's a fruit Sprue. Piece. Yeah. Too much time in retail, y'all skew. <laughs> if, you, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. What do you think, Kelly? Another zombie villager. And the last so far, but we've opened the zombie villagers. There's a good variety of poses. Yeah. It's just like skeletons, goblins, kobolds, when you you almost never fight one zombie. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, this next one is awesome, I think. You ready? Everybody ready? Oh. Pumpkin Knight, we got his base, an arm. Oh, a shield is big, big shield. Oh, it's oh, a coffin God. shield. That's cool. Yeah, in his head. This is this one's really fun. Yeah. I think it's a good sculpt too. It's not just like a uh, pumpkin. Yeah, they didn't phone it in because yeah. they have pumpkin head. Oh, yeah. the shield goes on the back. Wait. What? Yeah, the shield. Oh, it, the whole arm connects in. It's one piece. Oh, okay. Gotcha. We're smart. 
That's sick, yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. And see how he's not on his base, so we can still put it on a regular base? Mm. I like that. I'm glad. <laughs> There's so many minis. Yes! And don't forget, we've still got the boat. We're saving the boat for last. But nothing. Just... Oh, is this like a like a wraith rider or something? Spooky horse dude. Ugh. Oh, it's a whole. We got a whole horse set. Yeah, this reminds me of Lord of the Rings, one hundred percent. Yeah. And oh, one more. But look at this dude. This dude just like squat. <laughs> <laughs> like like don't don't put him on his horse. No. And just use that as the mini. That's exactly right. Put, put him sitting put the on a barrel. Not even the barrel. <laughs> just the just base that. on his feet. Okay. Yeah. Even better. <laughs> Squats wherever he goes. Uh oh, more of your boulderkin. Oh. Crunkle, blah blah blah. Yeah, this one's cute. Yeah, we've got a whole series of them. <gasps> Good thing about rock people is that they're easy to put together because if a seam doesn't line up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just holding them. Oh. I just like like to hold them. These are fun and dynamic. This one's got its mouth open, for example, so it distinct people. Like yeah, I, I like them a lot, but I don't know what like horde mm. you, what these would be used for. Like oh. kobolds, like yeah. Sure. But what what's where do you fight a bunch of like little rock monsters? I've never fought a single one, so I don't know whether they are loners or And two put together ones. Yay! See that victory. Yeah. Yay! I like to think they're very squeaky voiced. Still surprising that there are more of the other miniatures and not many, and no many, yeah. 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 This is my new favorite thing. I still, I prefer uh, banner hops. Okay, I was okay. gonna say, I was gonna I, say. Everybody, if you don't know, if you're new here, the bander hob, is Julie's favorite monster. This, In my world, they're vegetarian. This, oh, where are we at? This little fat, but Jowly, but toad frog man. Wonderful, perfect. Blah, 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 blah. Doing this, the robot. This is Julie's favorite. In the in all of D and D. It is. <laughs> I love. And in my lore, they don't eat children. Let me know in the chat. If your body type is Banderhob. <laughs> <laughs> like pear. Pear, yeah. apple, Banderhob. Bander yeah. If you like the Banderhob, you would love the Nurkalid. Oh, I'm not familiar. I've heard it. I can't place it. Take a, take a Google. I have two from booster packs. Yeah. And we've got a couple unpainted that we need to get to. Uh, this is uh, a guy. Like a, like a paladin kind of guy. Looks great. Is it? He's got the same hammer. I wonder if it is the same thing. This uh, the the mounting is is interesting. Uh, on his body, on his feet, you can see this whole thing sets inside. 3D summon a bunch of magma boulderkin, frost giant shaman, and some ice rock type. I see the boulderkin as fodder for element. That's an excellent idea, Earl. I completely am. You sold me on it, a hundred percent. Oh, the Nurgle. Yes. Yeah, that's coming tomorrow. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think it's still going on. But miniaturemarket.com right now has like a crazy sale. It's like 33% off a ton of WizKids minis, including the Critical Roll box sets. I bought all of them. And they'll be here tomorrow. And we'll do an unboxing at some point. This is amazing. Thank you yeah. so much for tipping me off to the Nurgled. I wasn't familiar. That's, it's a demon. I, I love is it, it a more. devil? I think it's a demon. 
It's a fiend of some sort. Oh, incredible! Yeah. Yeah, there's. I'm looking at this photo as well. Yeah. Photo. Like sure. draining its brain. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. Just gonna like a a set of fat lizardy things. I just love. Uh, this I like these horns a lot. The horns are good. Mm-hmm. This one is in as many pieces as possible. <laughs> like, Just out of spite. Like what? Uh, looks cool. Hard to tell though from from all these pieces. Oh no, is that? I don't know. We'll skip that one. Glad you love. It. Yes, thanks, Thrifty Steve. Please share us your wisdom on Discord. Like, don't get me wrong, everybody. I love patrons. I love getting, I freaking love getting patrons. I love getting members, all the paid stuff, blah, blah, blah. But I'm so happy to grow our discord because the Patreon is you and me talking, which is awesome. But discord is all of us talking. I, I'm very proud of our discord community. I think we've got great people over there. Yeah. I mean, Jerry's there. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this dude has like a little bear. Like a, what are those? Oh, no, big yeah. Eyed? Yeah. A marmoset? I don't know. No. With the, with the th th thumbs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and it's like I, the stitching detail on his cloak. Bush like, baby. A, bush baby. Maybe. Yeah, that sounds right. And a staff. So he's like a druid. I figured he'd be like a ranger. Yeah. That's. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. I like it when they don't exactly fit a archetype. Yeah. You know what? This thing, I don't think actually is a bush baby. It might be a sugar lighter. The... It's got bangs. Where's the, oh, there's the head. Okay, so we've got a head. <laughs> we've got a base, a square base, which is interesting. Good we've got starting. a big sword. <laughs> and then look at, so this body with the cape. Oh, but no. And the legs oh. snap into that, and then that snaps into here. That's surprising to me. Yeah. Hmm. I love the cape sitting up like that. Like he's coming down his stairs here. Someone named Lord Malort just joined our Discord? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Lord Malort from Minnie's Gal- Are, is, is Lord, Mal Lord Malort here? Lord Malort uh, is on Minnie'sGallery.com, oh. everybody. Minisgallery.com is uh, another awesome place. Tons of uh, minis and all the previews. Uh, Core Terry, the guy who runs it. Actually, I, I assume Terry, the person that runs it. He's got a he's got a thrall. Is his icon? Is there? Uh, whatever. Terry does a great job uh, getting all the pictures up and running of the new stuff. Yeah. Um, Minisgallery.com. I saw Malort, and since we've talked about it, yeah. I just thought they were connected. Thrifty Steve is Lord Malort. Ah! Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. No. Eric loves Malort, the alcohol liquor. Um, yeah. Because he's a broken person. <laughs> <laughs> hey, does this this we just had? Oh, this is in the in the paint kit. That's yeah. What it was. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We lived in. I lived in. We lived in Chicago, downtown Chicago, for six years, and then Julie's from the area. The suburbs. Yeah. We were in South Loop. You have a Malort tattoo. Wow. I thought about it. Just cause it's like such a cool design too. It is a cool design, but also, wow. Warrenville, okay. Oh, sure, yes. Wheaton Warrenville South High School is a place that I competed at for speech tournaments. <laughs> so. uh, Two free shots. But yeah. is it worth it? I mean, I could get like a tattoo of a rotting corpse to get free bites of rotting corpses and it would taste about the same, but I don't want that. Hey, this is the Dragonborn. Oh. This is the Dragonborn. What are we doing here? Repeatsies. I didn't get into speech until college. Now this, this cat looks a little bit easier to paint. Agreed. 
I like it. We're happy you're here too, Kelly. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm thrilled. I like Kelly. Kelly's had tons of awesome questions and comments. Quite insightful. Yeah. Kelly, I also hope you join our Discord. Agreed. Again, completely free. Just hang out, talk. Uh, so we, our regular thing is we do videos every Sunday, uh, and those are like recorded videos. Uh, but I'm, we're we're making an effort to do more streaming stuff. Not usually three hours long. No, definitely not normally <laughs> three hours. Long. If Eric ever orders this many minis again, I'm going to cry. <laughs> well, next year. <laughs> When's Bone Six, y'all? Uh, we got a whole series of cat people. Yeah. Oh, this one has a bag. So seen before yeah Ooh, armor cat i like that, that oh yeah cool. you don't see that very often oh my god the shield is ball of yarn <gasps> ball of yarn shield oh <laughs> give let's if anybody from reaper is listening give this designer inspiration please yeah that's I, so fun i still have trouble doing discord well if you need help with anything specific let me know but otherwise i'd love to see you in the comments yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, that's cute. Ooh. I think we've got a dragon. Oh. Uh, oh. What? Ooh. Injury. What happened? Dragon spike. Oh. <laughs> it was that sharp. Seriously, one of the. Oh wow. I think it was. It was I mean, it was something in the bag. If you need a band aid, you can get one. No, it just broke the skin under the nail. Oh. So now you're going to have blood on the rest of the stream? <laughs> Give me a glove. Dragon Vita. No. Oh. I don't think, I don't think it's a problem. But. Yeah, I can't believe that. That's crazy. So we've got all these gloves for painting stuff. Now I'm scared to touch that bag. Yeah. Y'all don't want to see blood. It's not, it wasn't that bad, but. Yeah, no, but just, it's unpleasant. So black. Ooh, look how cool my ring looks. <laughs> I don't get to say that often. Wow. Oh, we don't have one dragon. We have a bunch of dragons. Ooh. Look at this little, this is like the teenage dragon. Oh yeah, it's gangly. Gangly, that has happened to me. Yeah, I it feel, happens to everybody. I feel like a little noob. Oh, the blood happened to you. Yeah. I thought you meant the gangliness. Um, yeah, uh, no, a mini has never made me bleed before. But I imagine it's oh, not Oh, I bet, I bet it was this, one of these. Oh yeah. These are like super sharp. I, ooh. That one's a little spicy, but I love this. The head is really cool. Yeah. And then he, like, I'm. I, I believe he's, he's standing up. Mm -hmm. just, ah. Yeah. That's cool, and that will be a fun one to paint too. Yeah, it can be easy in this mini purchasing business to get tired of looking at dragons and painting dragons. So mm -hmm. it's nice to have such diversity in what they look like, the kind of types of dragons whether they have extra fins and kind of beards yeah. and all that kind of stuff so yeah and kudos for that the official wizards of the coast dragons each kind of dragon has a particular look mm -hmm. which i appreciate but when you're doing something like this with reaper where it's not official yeah you can do whatever you want yeah and i think that's a good change of pace a lot of the time i agree another dragon he, he lost his head indeed Oh, I like these wings a lot, though. Those, they're, like, thicker. They feel thicker. Yeah. Nice and leathery. Yeah. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you ready? Is this jelly? I'm not sure. This is jelly, everybody. Dragon wolf. <gasps> Dragon dog. Shut up. Dragon wolf dog. Aroo. May I take this one out if I put it back in a bag? Yeah, yeah of course. <gasps> I can't believe I'm bleeding from a minute. I know. That's an achievement unlocked. Oh, ew. Oh, the veins. Please paint this as lightning instead of veins. Uh-huh. <laughs> Please? Uh-huh. 
Cause grow. Ooh, yeah, this is really painful too. Its ear got me. Oh, maybe it was the ear. Jeez Louise. Yeah. I like his tail turns into like an alligator tail. Yeah. This is really cool. I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah, it's creative, yeah. Yeah. Great face. Looks like a perfect blend of a wolf and a dragon. The eyebrows in particular <laughs> appealed to me. I know you mean, oh, it's got a little footprint. Oh, that's just where its toenails go in. Anyway, I thought it might be walking off of the base, which I thought was an interesting choice, but it is still all on the base. You made a dragon wolf miniature a while back? That's incredible. Okay. Wow. Well, Kelly, not to not to push it here, but um, I think they would have a really good chance of winning the Prime Minis Patreon dragon or painting contest. Agreed. Yeah, I've never even thought of one before. Now, yeah. uh, in uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, there was a dragon horse you could have. Ooh. It looked so stupid. <laughs> it was it was like long legs and like skinny, and then it had these like runty wings. Like the idea was cool, but it was yeah, just it was, not well executed. I don't know why this tree has boobs, but I love the rest of it. Yeah. And luckily, because this is just like a tree thing, that I think we could take care of those pretty easily. Yeah, it's just <laughs> how Star Targaryen. Yeah. <laughs> How to D and D? Yay! Welcome. What time is it there? I, I don't even know how time zones work. So we're on Boxing Reaper Bones five, uh, and we still have the ship. Yes. Uh, if you missed it, I stabbed my finger on a mini, and <laughs> people don't want to see blood. Uh, this it has a turtle shell and a head. But is it this is like a warrior? Huh. Like an Aztec warrior kind of thing. Oh, it's uh it's almost three in the afternoon. That's oh great. I would love to be in New Zealand at 2.55 p.m. Yeah, that sounds like a dream come true. True story. We've New Zealand is like our top trip destination. We would love to go there. Not even because of Hobbit stuff. Yeah, I don't care about that. We just want to hear the, the accent and check out Wellington Paranormal. I just want to hear the accent all around. Well, if you want to hear uh, an accent, check out how to D&D's channel. Yeah. Great channel. Classic channel. Yes. One of the one of the OG D&D YouTubers. Yes. Possibly the OG D&D YouTuber. Yeah, this mini is weird. Oh, did you talk about the pot on his head? No. It has like a a very classic kettle for a head so the four little legs that the pot stands on and then the strap goes under their nose like the handle so that's really fun really really fun whoa this is a lot of plastic oh this is like a super oh he's got does he have two heads oh no, he's got one head oh and the other thing is maybe a hammer over his shoulder yeah his shoulder. so this is just like a giant ogre king or something yeah, Everyone's that... top delete to visit right now as the plague is under control here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he has three heads? Three heads? Oh, yeah. It's like a super Etten. Love that you knew that, Jerry. I think... I believe that Jerry has it all memorized. I agree. But I also wonder if Jerry has the website open. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Jerry just retains this information. But, he, but he's also resourceful. True. Three is better than one head, yeah. Yeah. Although I don't know if I had three heads. How would I decide? I don't know. There's so many logistics. <laughs> oh, so this one, this is an orc warlock, but this I got in the vending. And so at ReaperCon, at ReaperCon, one of the things they do is those like um, gumball, gumball machines, machines where you can put a quarter in and like one of those little plastic with the cup lid comes out and they put different minis in there and sometimes they're like regular bones whatever uh, but this was before bones black came out when I got it mm -hmm. Kelly we do not have a Facebook page Eric used to be on Facebook but isn't anymore 
more. Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and here. Yeah. I, yeah. I know. I'm just not a Facebook person. But thank you. I appreciate you asking. Yeah. For, for real. Uh, a lot of the growth on the channel has been for D&D stuff, which is great. Obviously, I love D&D stuff, like the books and everything. Uh, but, I mean, it's called Fry Minis for a reason. So I'm, I'm happy to get mini engagement. Yeah. I would argue with myself, it might look like Dave, Ed, and Ron, the leaders of Reaper. Oh, yeah. that's funny. Uh, yeah, so this is this is a cool one, but yeah, we've, got, we've had that one for so long. Oh, yeah, it is cool. But yes, I remember you getting this and you were really excited about the gumball machine. Um, you ready? Sure. Yep. Yep. <laughs> what is that? Don't yell. I can't. I can't not. It's like a cab. Is it a cabbage monster? This looks like cabbage. Do they have cabbage in New Zealand? What's the primary crop besides sheep? Dire cabbage. <laughs> Dire cabbage is just sauerkraut. Everybody knows that. It might be kimchi. Kimchi. <sighs> the tail, the legs. When I first played against um, one of those witches with the chicken leg houses, now <laughs> I think that every house probably has chicken legs on it. She she does ask that. <laughs> do I do I find feet? <laughs> Roll for chicken legs. Um, yeah. Ugh. This is gross. Attack of the it. Killer Cabbage. I, I watched Attack of the Killer Tomato cartoon. I believe that you did. Uh, yes, we have all crops in New Zealand. Yes, we have cabbage. Glad Hi. to hear it. Um, this is a big meaty person with a turtle shell crotch guard. Oh, like, like the cup. other one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a troll. Oh. Couldn't find the head at first. A very good looking troll. Like a classic troll. Troll. -lo 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 -lo. Another, oh. It's just a horde of trolls. Yeah, these hands. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <gasps> a beautiful dog. Oh, is it? Oh, a... it's, it's a, no, it's a, look, it's got antlers. I yeah. just saw those, yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks. So it's stag? Yeah, stag. Going stag tonight. I don't care for deer creatures, so. Fun base. This is a mangle jangle. So this is one of those ones where the, the body or the feet goes into the chest cavity. Mm. So we've got a sword, an arm with a sword. We've got a shield. I can't tell quite what that yeah. one is. There's just a bunch there. Maybe this is one of the ones with options. Choose your own adventure. Choose your own adventure. Oh, another one of those Yanti things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But with boobs. Now, this is the twig blight I like. Yes. Wow. Oh, it's like a weird little baby. Neck. It's like like baby Voldemort. Yeah. Oh. I wish they would make a giant stag on a huge base for True Rock. That's a, I, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'm I'm team Thrifty Steve. Yeah. I think this is an orc given its underbite. Oh, its head. Oh, maybe that's like that orc captain one. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yep. The jumble of parts is an orc captain. <laughs> Another twig blight. Very good. Yeah, they're very Oops, bizarre. Need a tree. Christmas tree. And a giant otter, I think. Mm. Badger, weasel, giant weasel. weasel, ferret. I think weasel. Weasel. That's a wild shape right there. Yes. What are we yeah, you, you, you do one. Oh, tapping out. Yeah. Need a break. Pull my weight. Oh, a pack. <laughs> Magnet. Coat. <What>? Oh. 
a pack ram. Yeah, maybe? I like that a lot. That's very useful. Yeah. Light tree. Ooh. Oh yeah. Reaper makes a tree that has like people like hanging from it, and I'm a little. Yeah. yeah. No, that's. I think this is a lion cub, maybe. Oh, little kitty cat. It kitty cat is cat shaped, but its head is a little fluffy, so I'm not quite sure what it is. But I think it's some sort of large cat. I like it though. I do too. <gasps> oh. This is, the, this is the little baby animal. It is. I think this is a wolf. It seems small and beardy enough to be a wolf. What's the wolf sound like? Ow. Ow. Um, a small person with a big head. Half is he? wing. Uh, I guess I would go more gnome. gnome. I, I don't know why, but that's where. I... All right. Yeah, it could be either. A mini with a shield as big as she is, and I think that's fantastic. Halflings and gnomes are usually flip floppable. Mm. Not in Wizkids. Wizkids, then you can make a very clear distinction. Yeah, another, I just wanted to get the detail. This mm. snowshoe detail is really nice. Fur covered, fully oh, clothed. Child adventurer, says Jerry. Oh! Doll fighter. <laughs> One who fights dolls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. To have children on the table like that. I've never encountered that. Look at her. Not taking any of your nonsense. Yeah. Don't touch her juice box. Mm -mm. It's hers. It's a Capri Sun. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Love that attitude. Oh, talk about a heroic wind. <laughs> that one looks anime to me. I do get an anime vibe, but this one also, because it's a child, feels gender neutral. The haircut doesn't denote anything to me, and I like that. These are <laughs> cute. Yeah. Yeah. More gender neutral minis, please. Oh, a bear cub. Oh, and he's like, please. Please give me some of your Capri Sun. I need some meat. I can't use a straw, but I'll try. Yeah. And these are all just for a sense of size. Like, <laughs> yes, they're a children's size adventure. And such a cool way to have appropriate minis. Any mini should really be able to be played by or in front of a child, but that's not always the case, even for this set. But really nice to have kind of child-specific minis that look like kids in the way that you are and help you tell stories. We have a lot of friends who play this at school as teachers and stuff like that. Yep. So this is a cool collection. That's a great point. Yeah. Great, great point. I like that. It's a dragon. Another dragon. Ho-hum. It's like a wormling size though. Yes. One time while he was DMing, Eric said that we met a medium dragon and um, two of the players, <laughs> including myself, wrote down like, oh, we're fighting a medium dragon. So I don't think we can take that. We're pretty low level. And he was just like, no, it's a wormling. There's no such thing as a medium dragon. Medium, medium is size, just what size yeah. it was. And we were both like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, I think, is like a, I think that's a gnome. <gasps> I don't know. This might be another child adventure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot about child Child size then. features and a cool owl, a nice thing to have a familiar. Um, and a very flowy, you can kind of see it here. Their, the way that their cape flows up and back, so they've got dramatic kind of under air going mm -hmm. to really make their cape billow. Another cool way to be able to do something gender neutral as well. Yeah, WizKids has a line called Wardlings, which mm. are young adventurers, but they're all pre-painted. Oh, that's cool. Two, I think those are two more. Yeah. This one's holding a lantern. Great set that Especially if you think about adventures in a fantasy game can have any haircut that you want. So if you're kind of encouraging kids to be able to play any gender or any personality that they want, anybody can use any of these minis without feeling kind of forced into a big bulky hulky guy or a very feminized balloon titted woman. So this is cool. I really like these. Oh, this one has a little cat familiar or 
mongoose, maybe. Oh. <laughs> Whatever animal we decided the other one was. Oh, yeah. I'll say weasel. Weasel. That's it. Yeah. With two crossbows. Yeah. Don't worry about trying to reload them. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You don't need to. But this is my favorite of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got a little war pick. Is that is he a toucan? Oh. I think he has a toucan familiar. Yes. That seems to be what it is, which is funny because toucans are so tropical and this person's in full plate. That's See, it can all be silly and fun. Yeah. That's wonderful. We have That's so a many really cool warnings. set. I know. Oh, did you have you ever been putting these back? I didn't mean to. I might have set one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did these. Gotcha. Okay, we've got another dragon. Night kid. Mm -hmm. Day kid. Ah! Oh, this isn't a dragon. I'm silly. This is a manticore. Oh! Is it? Yeah, it's a manticore. Dragon head. I think. Yeah. Yeah, he's got those little feet. Manticore, can we agree? There's a manticore. Jerry, let us know. <laughs> All right, so this next one, I was hoping it was put together a little bit more for you, but it's not. So I'm going to show it to you here. Oh, you already looked, you looked at the box. No, I didn't. Oh, hand, me, hand me the box, please. I set it down, but I didn't look at it. This. <gasps> It's a pumpkin tree. It's a pumpkin beholder. Oh. Okay, well that's still pretty cool. Oh. I love pumpkins. I um I'm not a Christmas person um or really a Halloween person. Thanksgiving is actually my favorite holiday and pumpkins just come out as soon as the first leaf turns brown, which doesn't always happen here in Texas. So, um they come out September 1st. Oh, dragon lion, like the dragon um Wolf. Wolf. This is super cool. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be out year round. <laughs> a big clear thing. Oh, it's a dragon. Oh, like a shadow dragon. In many, many pieces, but here's its head. Mm. Sorry, I wasn't on camera for all of that. But lots of pieces. Pumpkin Beholder gets A plus for me, too. Super fun. I heard they grow pumpkins in New Zealand. They grow all crops. All crops. I'm that. Oh, this is a this is a sub bag. We'll save that. <laughs> okay. Well, first so we can get through these individuals. Another sub bag. You got one? The Pizza Master. Oh, Pizza Master. What's the name of the Pizza Master? As you crest the hill, a pumpkin tree comes into view. Roll initiative. <gasps> inspiration for Thrifty Steve. Tell, yes. your, tell your DM you get inspiration. Gold inspiration. What's gold inspiration? We've got a video. <laughs> uh, oh, this is one I'm really excited for. This, this one's a little unusual, but I think this is cool. All right. So these are spell effects. <gasps> So like Big B's hands. <gasps> Did I get blood on my hand? It's not blood. Oh, it's the it's no, oh. it's the pink. It's the pink. Okay. Uh, and th there was an add-on one that was a flip-off hand, but I didn't get it. Yeah. They added it late, and I didn't want to mess up my order. I do that enough for everyone. Uh, can you guess what this one is? Immovable disc. The disc one. Ten yeah, tensors floating disc. There it is. Immovable rod, tensor floating mm -hmm. disc. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. This is this is uh, truthfully this is one of the ones I was most excited for. I almost ordered a double on it. <laughs> if I as a stand as an yeah, add-on. Yeah. yeah, and these these fingers are flexible. Oh. Crushing hand is the best spell effect as a monster I've seen. Yeah. And we've got walls. Oh, one wall. We've got wall. <laughs> maybe there's more. I, I could have sworn there were more wall pieces. Or maybe the wall extras were add-ons. Mm. So this is a, any random wall or a um, stone wall. Wall of stone. 
And then this is a uh, vine wall. Oh. High five hand. Invisible. Oh my god. Uh, Hour eight of the stream. Invisible servants. Oh. Uh, one of the many weapons, such as a uh, spell weapon, so like spiritual <gasps> weapon. Mm hmm. Very useful to have. Uh, not sure what that is. Oh, what, what? Okay, one of you, one of you super cool people tell me, what do we have here? Oh, these are just like spell effects to add on to a mini, I guess. Oh. Like blasting effects. It's weird, they're just free floating. Yeah. Anybody have a, have a, some help on that one? Spell effects, yeah, okay. Cool, well, those are great. And then we've got one more hand. Fist oh. Crunch. Cool. Very cool. He was getting unruly over here. Agreed. Oh my god, there's still more. Beholder eye rays, that'd be a good option, yeah. Ooh. So this I have painted in medium size. Yes! I remember because of his silly head. He's, he's, right, he's right there. Middle row, golem. See? So this is like regular bones. And so I went for like a metal. I was going to play this as like a warforged at the time. Yeah. So I'm glad it's bigger size because it makes more like 5D mechanical sense. But And he's not actually as dark as he looks here. Yeah, he's got a lot more activity that can't be shown under these. Check out Instagram.com slash Fry Minis for photos. Uh, a wizard of some sort? Oh, no, no, no. This isn't a... Well, maybe it's a wizard. But this is a... Um, trying to get it separated so we can see it. This is a Warforged. So, like, a robot. Oh! Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. The glare made it tough. Sure. Yeah, he's got a head like um Robert California. Ultron. Ultron. He's got an Ultron <laughs> head. Uh okay, so this one I think is one of the most innovative minis in this whole set. Like, I don't think I, I don't know when I would use it. And I don't know a sat block for it, but I think it's really cool. A stained glass golem. That's so cool. Yeah, totally agree. Very, very cool. I mean, a wolf dragon is innovative and interesting, but this blows my mind. Yeah, that's cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, same. I agree. Yeah, this stained glass is very cool. And it makes me think of those stained glass art projects that I had in the 80s, 90s. Did you ever have any of those? No. It was like a piece of clear plastic and it came with very gel clear paint. And it was like raised up so it was like an embossed flower and you would just paint it. And then your mom would have to hang it in the kitchen window and look at it. <laughs> Must be nice to have a kitchen window. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice to have a mom. <laughs> uh, so this looks like a big, beefy warforged. Oh yeah. That that's a tank one right there. Crunk 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 crunk. And it's pretty flat. Great concept. Totally agree. Stained glass golem reminds me of young Sherlock Holmes movie. I haven't seen oh that. my god, young Sherlock Holmes. From the, like the nineties, I remember catching some young Sherlock Holmes, like when I would stay home from school sick. It was that or uh, Price is Right. Obviously. No Sally, Jesse, Raphael for you? Uh, yeah, okay, or Sally, Jesse, Raphael. Or Ricky. With the glasses. No. Well, my mom liked Ricky. I didn't like Ricky. Oh. I don't know why. Uh, skeleton, or skeleton. Scarecrow? 
body. It stands up. Hmm. Very cool. And, and it's got more pumpkins. <gasps> Yay! To be clear, I like pumpkins. Jack lanterns are fine, but pumpkins are great. Bounty, harvest, oranges, greens. <sighs> they made an Eric <gasps> mini. Aww. <laughs> Clay. <laughs> Clay golem. Flat. Yeah, Clay golem, really. The expression on it is really good. It reminds me of um, Clayface from Batman. Yes. So particularly Batman the Animated Series. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's fun. Whoa. They do a good job making the body look like a, a humanoid body, but still mounds of clay, but not just a pile of poop. Mm. <laughs> not just a pile of poop. You heard it here first. This is like a giant scarecrow, I think. Oh. The size. It still looks like it's like sewn up. Do you think it's a scarecrow or like a headless horseman? Uh, I think it's a scarecrow. Not alone in that one. <laughs> Being old. Uh, I mean, look, it's got like stuffing. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a scarecrow. I agree. Yeah, it's got like, like corn. You tell me. I've never detasseled corn. Neither have I. I didn't know that that was a thing until we met. Has anyone here ever detasseled corn? Drop it in the chat. Who's from Michigan? <laughs> oh, here we go. This this is a prize right here, this one. I forget his name, but it has a, a special name. It's like a giant, kind of like a lich king. Oh, he's got a bad case of the flops, though. Heat gun will take care of that. Yeah. Ogie bogey. Ogie Bogey. Is that the name of him? No. And see, he's got Sorry. this crown. Like a, like a witch king. Oh. Melacor, Yes. Uh, I think we I think we got a Mel it's Yeah, it's something like that. Uh, we we have one of these from ReaperCon. Oh. They only had, like, it was, I think, limited numbers or something. But... Yeah. This is really cool. All of the... Teeny tiny detail in every place you could think of it. Even kind of the chains on the, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Eager to see that. I don't usually like kind of horror or sooky or demon stuff, but that I'm excited to see. Special resin limited run, yeah. So this, this is what Decimation was making. This is the treasure golem. <gasps> oh yeah. So those are all coins and chests. It's a really cool mini. Yeah, it is really cool. But this is this is one of those ones, like, why is it clear? I was wondering that, too. Like, these are coins. Yeah. I don't know if they mean that because it has the potential for more sparkle to it. I don't know if they do once you slather it in paint. It's yeah. all kind of the same. And it is fine, but, it, like, it, I, like, if clear is more expensive than... Sure. Some, I don't know, like... I yeah. It's been fun, Eric and Julie. I have to go and edit a video. I'm playing DD with five with kids. That's my day gone. Editing torture. I feel you on that. Thank you, Fred, for checking in. It was great to talk to you. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Can't wait to see the video. Yeah. Big scarecrow looks like from Nightmare Before Christmas. <gasps> oh. I'm not super familiar with that film. I've seen it once or twice, but not like. But yes, that's the sewn up guy. I know what you mean. To give the gem treasures and the golem more sparkle. I feel like I, I, I must not do it right then. Yeah, I mean. Because if you can like see through, so let's, so let's say you're not doing a full thick coat to cover it, right? So you, you do something translucent. But then the rest of it's coated in gold. Yeah. So the light's not getting through there. Solid gold plating is on the gems. Oh, like, so almost like your contrast paint. Yeah, but that's just on the gems, right? Sure, instead of the whole thing. But yeah. you can't, it's not like you can do part of it that way. Right, but if, if, my, if my hand is this creature and this part's clear, and the rest on both sides is oh, painted the, color. You're not the light so there's no through. light coming through. Okay. 
bag yeah. of bag of goblins. Whoa. We're not gonna open those up, but that's what I've got. like. I wouldn't, no joke, wouldn't be surprised if we had like a hundred rebirth goblins. I wouldn't be surprised either. Well, because they always come in these like enormous packs, which right. is great. And like, there's some like, look at this one. He's got like a little skull. <gasps> that's fun. Like yeah. A skull for a helmet. Yeah, and yeah. like this one's like a fat one. <gasps> Hello. I think you're great. Yeah, so they're fun, but yeah, so many. Yeah. many. Yeah. But like, if you're new to collecting these, like yeah, yeah that's fantastic. That's, that's true. true. Add those to my army. <laughs> uh, what is that? Is this like a little angry gnome? got ears where are we at come on or is it like a, a little elf it's like a wizard i don't know what do you think i earl i agree with you that's the thought process i just my brain's not working at this point i can't tell what this is i like the pointy ears but there's facial hair and bare feet which i love and a fireball looking thing. Oh, Hobgoblin. Yeah, it's Hobgoblin. Oh. Yeah. Of course. Oh, this yeah. is like a bag of Hobgoblins. Oh. So here's a, this is a Hobgoblin, like warrior, like fighter or something. Great. Yeah, Earl, I think you're right. Hobgoblin. But this one's really fun. Where are we at? <laughs> this big bread things. Yeah, that's tough. Check that out. Oh. Hmm. When the moon hits your eyes like a big piece of pie. And look, he's got a whole, he's like a one man band. Oh, that's my new favorite one. It's not, but I like that a lot. That's so cute. Uh, Another a hobgoblin fighter, warrior, barbarian type thing. Great. And like an assassin of goblin. Sprawling. Sprawling. I don't know, what is sprawling? Sorry, IDK. All right, final three collections before we get to the boat. I'm on a boat. Don't sing it too much or we'll get taken down. Um. Uh... This is another one of those weird combo bodies. Here's to be a lady. Like a lady, like a paladin or something. Cool. Looks great. See how easy that is? To do. Yeah, she's wearing pants even. Look at that. Uh, a lady. Not the best, not the worst. She's got a bucket. I appreciate that. They're useful. Buckets are useful. You can put water in them and other things. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. This is a uh, hooded. Oh, this is that ranger. This is that same freaking ranger. Just taken apart. Mm. All right. See, this is. Another, this is like a pack of rangers. Mm. Elf, elves, elves. Love a pointy cape. I think they're fun. They're like we can, we can do the whole body in one shot, but not the head. Yeah, that'd be too much. <laughs> Sprawling. There's Ooh. some good looking rangers in here. Yeah. This one's not, like on the lookout. I like that. I think that's Oh, yeah. Look. Look with your elf eyes. I had an eye doctor appointment this morning, and I had to try so hard not to say, look. Look with my special eyes. Yeah. Like that ranger. Yeah. Uh, in the Lord of the Rings. Thing. It's like, what do you see with your elf eyes? Oh. And then it's like it's kind of memed sometimes. Like, mm. What do you see with your human eyes? <laughs> Not much. Yeah. Better now. This one's mid pull. Oh. Boink, boink, boink. 
they do they do a really good job with that straight on shot like when you're looking at it like yeah. lining it up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay again not the best not the worst i like her face like that's like a i like the idea of elves being like a little alien almost mm. also just the idea of like elves oh you have a thousand years but like your perception of everything is going to be so different than a regular person I read a thing one time that said, like, El, if, if you could live a thousand years, you'd never leave your house. You'd be too terrified. Of, like, if you're if you're a hundred years old, like, you don't want to die and miss out on 900 years. Mm. You just have so much to lose. And the actual thing made more sense. <laughs> and this is a little tree man, which I really like. <gasps> He's a little Grooty Tootie. Oh. He's got a bunch of shrooms. I love this. Yeah. Where's my head? I love this. That's so fun. Something without a face is still cool. I mean, yeah. Okay. Two bags left. You're just yelling sometimes. <laughs> it's who I am. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is a skeleton Jesus. Yeah. With a weird Oh, uh, wood woad. Wood woad, you're totally right. Bucket Girl was a drow dark elf alchemist, and that was her stump familiar. She harvested mushrooms from. Game changer, Earl. That's so cool. I almost bought one of those mushroom grow along kits that were so popular around Christmas. Mm. They had them on clearance at Target, but I figured we would they wouldn't grow. So I yeah. left it for somebody else to find. It could have been her. This thing's weird, but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that hammer is very strange. Ooh, Grim Reaper. Look, sure. look, at, the, look at that pose. Like, whoosh, yeah, coming the at you. Yeah. Swoopy sleeves. And then the side of it. Yeah. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah. Oh, something with fur. Is it a dog? Or is it a weird dragon monster hybrid? You can see it's insides. Is it like a zombie wolf? Oh. Jerry, is this a zombie wolf? Earl? I think it's a zombie wolf. Yeah, it's like it's split down the middle. And its eyes are hollow. So yes, I think it's a zombie. It's just a dire. How is it a dire wolf if you can see his ribs? I'm gonna take it apart if I put it in another bag. Yeah. So its ribs are out, and you can. They're on the pack of zombie dread dread wolves. Okay, sure. Oh, so you can see the inside of it, but that's just for fun. Like, you don't actually see that when it's put together. I got you. And then its eyes, as I mentioned, are hollow. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And it's in that very low to the ground, kind of German Shepherd aggressive pose. Ooh, is this a giant? Is this a stone giant that absorbs? Or is this an ocean giant? Ocean. Oh yeah, look, 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 look. This is this is the one. He's got the bird <gasps> on his head. He sure does. It's like a sea giant. That's so funny. Yeah, see, he's got, he's got more birds. Yep. It's like for shoulder. That's great. That's gonna be really fun. I'm starting to run down. Oh, yeah. And then, oh, so that was like the alpha wolf or something. Mm. Undead giant, yeah. And then these are the regular zombie wolves. Diet dread wolves. Mm. Yeah. Those hollow eyes are really spooky. <gasps> and they're kind of matted for. This one, I love this one. This, like, undead king. Oh, yeah. That would be a good, like, boss. Yeah. Rod of rulership. 
Yeah, this one's great. Big. Great cape. Surprise, surprise one. Mm -hmm. Really good. Ooh, that's a good, like, Grim Reaper one. Yeah. I like the lean back. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is good. Yeah. I can feel the graveyard air. Oh, okay. so it I didn't know what she meant. <laughs> uh, skeleton knight looks good. What are you? Is this another skeleton soldier? That head. Yeah, another skeleton soldier. Skeletons, I'm always happy to have a bunch of. Uh, especially when you have gear on them, you can scale them. So you're not just using just the basic stat block. You can reflavor other things to be skeleton. Mm -hmm. This, I like this one. It's like uh, got good thick details. Oh yeah. Yeah, you rarely see a bulky skeleton and I think that adds to the like, oh, this isn't just another human skeleton. This is something else. Goliath skeleton. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, I like that one. All right, last bag. Of this, and then we then we we'll, we'll do the ship. All right. How long how long are we? Um. Three and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day, y'all. We gotta watch Ted Lasso. I'm going to bed. Careful. Yep. All right, right here we got we got a loose we got a loose oh. Oh, it's that same one. <laughs> is this a bag of repeats? Yeah, seems like it. Yikes. Not, this, this is not the best bag. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Her. I already have a big undead army. Need more. <laughs> is this in game or <laughs> IRL? <laughs> Terrifying in all the right ways. There we go. This is an old sculpt. Mm. I think this is one that was in metal in like 1912. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yes. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Is that a pipe? Yeah. Nice. Love a jowl. This is not the learn to paint bag, but we did open the learn to paint already. And there's that I think is so much overlap. Yeah. So it's got many from the learn to paint bag, but not all of them. I don't think we've said hi yet to Brian Daly. Oh, maybe not. I'm hi, sorry. Hi, Brian Daly. Hi, Brian Daly. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out. If you like what you see, thumbs up, please like subscribe. Join us on Discord. We do Friday night painting nights every night, except for tonight was special. Every week. Every week. Every week. Friday night paints every night. Every night. Okay, I, I'm I'm good. <laughs> uh, ooh, this is like a beekeeper's wife. Beekeeper's. Wife. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Well, welcome back. <laughs> I remember we were trying to pronounce daily. Or is that a different? It was different. Okay. Uh, this is just like a cool dude with a shield. Yep. Oh, what's this one? This one looks fun. A big evil helmet. Ooh. Big puffed out chest. This is just like a bad guy anti-paladin kind of thing me same uh, okay That's what okay said. okay right. thank you thank you i like that glad one. you're here yeah. still slash again you understand my confusion then i think barkeeper's wife oh i kind of like that makes sense but i, I like beekeeper's wife i think that's more fun especially because she was a little bit puffy yeah um what is, what are you? 
Oh, this is like a dwarf bear nut or not bear nut, a dwarf fighter, like a dwarf monk, brawler, barbarian. Brawler. Confusion was of my own making. Um, I just want to go back. Her face detail, like she's 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 chubby and cheerful and wonderful. I'm like a feather fan. Yeah. This is so fun. Yeah. Yeah, not an opera singer, but the barkeep or beekeeper's wife. Or she could not be defined by someone's marriage status. Yeah, but yeah. But if that's what it's called. I know, I know, I know. Uh, and then this would, maybe this is her husband. Oh. That is a very fancy or man. boyfriend. Could be. Her mistress. Well, what's the word? Is there a word? Side piece. <laughs> <laughs> Just go on with that. Uh, I like I like this though. This is a fancy guy. You guys are so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We like to think so, but it's nice to have some validation. So thank you. Especially after this many hours with us. <laughs> this many hours and this many months just locked in our house. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, this is like a lady in like a ball gown with a book. So she's like, but she's got a gear on her back. So this is just fantasy clothes. What? Gigolo. Uh, no, no, J Jigolo's male prostitute. Topics I never expected for Fry Minis channel. Yeah. I, I know that because Deuce Bigelow, male Jigolo. Same. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with this person. Yeah. yeah. All right, a couple, couple individuals left. I just want to come back to this guy real quick. I like to think that although he has... Um... Turn around in the bag. So... He's got this very fancy feather hat. I like to think of him as the tax collector. A lot of my references are going to be Robin Hood Men in Tights. One summer I made my babysitter watch that movie every single day with me. I love it. Um, and although he has a weapon, I'd like to think that he's the tax collector, like the big chubby, jolly, not jolly, tax collector who um, takes Robin's home away on wheels. So that's what I'd like to believe he is. Not a king or anyone royal, just a tax collector with a sword. Give me your money. That is a cane. Well. Walking stick. Then even better. He's still a tax collector. You're totally right. All right. Obviously. You're, you're going to totally, burn yeah. through a couple here. <laughs> uh, this guy we got in that other kit. Yep. Which this is, I still really like this it one. Is I think cool it's one. super cool. Yeah. I agree. This one. This lady, we liked her. Yep. Liked her a lot. She's in the Learn to Paint kit. Yep. yep. And this last one, I don't think we've seen yet, but I love it. <gasps> definitely, definitely not Volo. <laughs> now, you could use it. I mean, you could use it as a wizard with a book. You could use it as uh, a bard. You mm -hmm. could use it as a town crier, kind of whatever. An another tax collector. Yeah. Uh, just... A writer, anything. This is this is a great one. This is very versatile. Cane sword, you're absolutely right. Oh, yeah. There are no losers Whoosh. here. Cane sword, Whoosh. very cool. All right. All right. I'm gonna grab the ship. Uh, scribe. Yeah, absolutely. Tax collector's assistant. <laughs> All right. I need some space. I've done what I can. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, uh, Eric is very strong. This thing, like, I've got big hands. Yes. Uh, oh, here. Uh, if you don't, if you didn't see, I did a picture of spam for scale already mm. on the Discord. It's, it's not actually that heavy. I think it's like 11 pounds. 4.6 kilograms. This is boat number 2,084 of 3,000. 
for the record, I was wave one, wave one. Okay, enough complaining. Let's do this. Here's the top of my head. Look at look at that hair. Still pretty thick. Uh, two pounds. That's not two pounds. No, it's ten pounds. Oh, okay. So yeah, you were totally right. Four point six kilograms is ten point one four pounds. So about eleven pounds. Thank you. Nicely done. Oh my foot. Cutting. So inside this box is another box. So I'm gonna make sure there's not receipt in there. Wow. So you didn't really have a chance. <laughs> Commission commiserated on Reddit. I actually felt bad when I posted I got my notification. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's okay. It's all good now. So, this this is this, this, it was something that was like hard to complain about. But I was really annoyed because I wanted to do this unboxing before like everybody's seen all this stuff. Like, of course, I greedily wanted my own stuff to have it as soon as possible. But time, I had a special time sensitivity to try to get the video out ASAP. But it may have been four hours at that point, too, so... Well, we would have done an unboxing then, too. Yeah. But I would have had time to do... I was going to do, like, a full review video mm. in addition and, like, do my normal spinning thing on everything, but I think that just might be too many hours for me to do that. Yes. All right, so this is taped into the box. The box is taped inside the box, which is placed inside the box. Comes out. Sitting down that razor blade. Okay, get this so we don't hit that microphone again. Oh no! Oh, no! Upside down, you fool! You fool! <laughs> oh, fail! Hey, is there even like a right side up sign? I mean, the box has words on it. Shoot. Oh my god. Sorry, Eric. What? That's a bummer. I but am it's sorry. cool that this is printed with a grid so you can use it for like boat for like water. Oh yeah. A nice base because you could set it up there and then have 5, 10, 15, 20 pieces. Oh my god. I can't believe this is so cool. Blooper reel. Blooper reel. <laughs> Clip. <laughs> Somebody do the clip. You can clip a video on YouTube now. Hit the hit the clip. That was freaking awesome. Oh, I am sorry about that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but look how big. Look how big this. Yeah. Again, Vanderhop, which is large for scale. Yeah. That's enormous. All right. So, are you able to hold this? Sure. So that's the bottom of the boat. Well, I'm gonna stack these. This is the bottom? That's the top of the boat. Okay. No, it actually is the bottom. Yeah. All right. This, I almost feel like if the, the webcam would be better here. Here, we're gonna, I'm gonna switch these. Uh, which one? Don't miss it. Ah, oh, dang. Whatever. Okay. So. Boat goes on there. There's some, in, like, uh, loose glue marks. That's different. Yeah, you can tell that the sheen is different. Yeah, it's like, like super glued almost. Um, we can hold that. This thing is enormous. Yeah, it'll go great on the shelf and we'll never use it. Anymore. Yep. Uh, this is the, is this the poop deck? Captain's quarters? Keep the camera rolling. <laughs> DJ Ghostman, welcome aboard. Keep the camera rolling. Jealous, yeah. Painting this is going to use all of our brown. Go, is it, is it this side? Yeah. That goes right in there. Sure. And the bottom of there. Yeah, 
and it won't be like perfectly substantial either. Way. Sure. So these have kind of slots to go into, but it's still. Check this out. These are cannons. I think it's 20 cannons. Wow. So you can put them in the windows and stuff. And if you want more cannons, you can order them. Painting these will be an absolute nightmare. Hairbrush. Well, you can't. Hairbrush everything brown and then just do black on the cannon itself. This is the best. My this is my best angle. <laughs> look at the look at the look at the what you call the anchor. That's bigger than most minis. Uh, we've got doors and like hatches. Yeah. Mermaids or something. I know. I know. There's one that goes on that on the end, but I haven't seen that. Like a little decal, like pieces somewhere in the back, maybe. Windows, lots of windows for those gun cannons and hatches. Mm -hmm. Oh, here, this is this is the uh, we can't really check that out. This is the masthead. It's a lady. It's like a sea. I think it's one of the um, from the thing at the where they do at ReaperCon with the different factions. Oh yeah. I think it's from. Sophie? No, no. Yeah, Brian, I don't think it's Sophie. Cause Sophie's like a demon, I thought. Yeah, Sophie has wings, right? Yeah, this is the pirate one. Uh, these, I'm not actually sure what these are. They're like pieces, blocks of wood. With the Greeblies. Uh, steering wheels. I'm sure those have a boat term. Ship wheels? I don't know. Ship wheels. He says Sophie doesn't always have wings. Oh. Uh, the actual masts, I guess. Because they, because... Here. Look. They're magnetic. Oh. So that's how they, like, lock in on mm. here. So, so the actual boat, yeah. That. They can yeah. be with or without for storage. Yeah. More masthead. Silly mast. boat for my game, my in-game daughters. <laughs> you can have a duel. All right, can you that? All right, we got more masts and carpet. Is that a map for Dim Dian, or is that the piece that's inside the box? Yeah, so that's the. Freaking box. Oh. Uh, what am I supposed to do with that? Dude, how are you picking this up? I was trying to. Okay. Yeah, so. Here's the freaking box. <laughs> Full of cardboard. Look at that. This thing is so big. Yup. All right, let me flip this to the front. There we go. So we got pictures. There's no like instruction booklet on how to put it together. I don't think we need it. I think it's straightforward. It'll just take a little figuring out. Here's what the. Oh, we did the focus. Yeah. I have too many in-game kids. <laughs> how much? How much was the damage? So DJ goes. So the boat itself is a hundred bucks, which for what you're getting is a deal. Yeah. I think. Um. But overall, and if you watch the whole video, all three and a half hours or whatever we're at, it's almost four. Um. It was we, we did five hundred dollars on the Kickstarter, but some people did thousands, and we only got a fraction. Hundred bucks, kick arse. Yeah, 
Uh, well, get on Reaper. If you didn't order one, they're doing Bones 5.5, which is like an extension window. You can get on there. All right, so we need to put this back in the thing and we'll figure that out off camera. Yes. All right, let's 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 head on over. We're going to do one more sales pitch, everybody. Fry Mini's House of Shameless Self-Promotion. Please, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Uh, consider becoming a YouTube member. Two ninety nine. You get a little icon. Uh, you'll get a special Discord channel and role, uh, and you'll get some cool things. Where like I always, I always, I'll do my absolute best to reply to every single comment you leave. Um, if you join us on Discord, you can come chat. And that's all free. Uh, hang out with us. We got a bunch of cool stuff over there. Typically, every Friday night we do a live painting session, uh, and that's you can just join us there. Uh, if you go to patreon.com slash fry minis, that's the best way to support the channel. Uh, from $1 up to $100 a month, you get a whole range of different ability or perks and stuff. Uh, more Discord stuff you can get. Uh, we do a painting contest you can win. Uh, I do monthly PDFs. And if once we get enough people, we'll have a D&D game. Also, we've got some cool workshops. Um, so YouTube, Patreon. DMs Guild. I've got some stuff you can find over on DMs Guild. Pay what you want. Instagram, check us out over there. That's why I post all the minis I paint. And uh, Twitter, of course. And you can find everything at fryminis.com. So let's switch back. That's the house of shameless self-promotion. I hope you enjoy that. I love that. I just made that today. It's silly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Julie Here's and the boat. boat. Thanks. Boat delivery. Ding, 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 ding. Ironically, it came via airmail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have 15 in-game kits. Okay. Yeah, they are a little bit more expensive in 5.5. You're right. Do you have the Wiz Kids boat? No, I didn't. The Falling Star. If I did have that, I probably wouldn't have gotten this. Because we don't do a lot of boat stuff. We don't like a lot of nautical things. Um, but it, once it eventually goes on, it goes on sale sometimes. And we'll, we'll see how low it gets before I eventually cave. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm reading through Earl, uh, but the boat that the boat is pre-painted, which is a big thing. So it's got an unpainted version too, but uh, the Falling Star is pre-painted as the main version, which you don't have to worry about with this one. Uh, yay, a 15 hours or 15 kids <laughs> self-promotion. I mean, for science. Yeah, yeah, for science. I know. I don't know if you can. We've got. I'm waiting. I'm really excited for to get my Arviatris replacement. This uh, white dragon, the WizKids one, that was totally not painted. Uh, just had a wash on it. Um, but they're 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 finally shipping the replacements. Once I get mine in, I'm gonna do another uh, update video on it. Uh, Cause this is literally just light gray plastic with like a wash that barely stuck on it. It is not. It's crazy. They said they had the print master, paint master error or something. Whoa. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. Ooh, there's no integration into into the Streamlabs for Patreon, so I can't do anything with that. Thanks uh, so much. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, where's, my, where's my focus? Uh, you should get an email thing with all the cool steps. It's real easy. And then uh, make sure you have your Patreon and Discord connected. And then I'll auto provision you your role. If it doesn't, let me know and I'll and I'll take care of it. Thanks uh, so much. Yeah. Thank you. Very excited. This is great. Yeah. Okay, so I know this has been so freaking long. This is way longer than we either of us planned. Um, even even me. <laughs> uh, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking around, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the participation. Yeah. This is one of my best, like my favorite streams we've ever done uh good night <laughs> from yeah. the family. oh thank you fun stream Pops thank you for hanging out. everybody have a great night yeah please i hope to see you again check us out in discord thank you thank you thank you here i'm gonna click this end button i'm gonna click it i'm gonna click thanks it thanks for hanging out bye <laughs>